I'm biting the fart bubbles in the bath. We smoking symbiote. Smoking that Whoopi Goldberg, South Egyptian, Fur Burger, Deluxe, Mega Million, Scratcher, Skunk, Bubba Kush. We smoking Dung Beetle. I'm on 12 Vicodins, smoking on Scooby-Doo Dick. We smoking Sequoia Banshee Boogers. We snorting that good Buffalo Soldier Tamarind, Jordanian Jimmy. They must have amnesia. They forgot that I'm him. That Burberry Backwood Pack hitting that pussy smell like a Hellcat V8. We smoking shit in a glass pipe, blowing the Lord's bubble. I'm sick in the head. I'm on them Broward County Tic Tac. I'm on them Georgetown Geronimos. I'm on them Nashville Nibblers. I left my Marcellas in the Benz truck. I'll have to stun on them next time. I don't give a fuck if I go blind. I don't need to see the price tag anyway. I'm high on 12 Jason Bournes, looking to beat the cum out of a thick, fresh oak. We smoking filtered crack, you stupid piece of shit. Fucking kill you. Call that pussy the matrix. Cause I'm in this bit and I can't get out. Last guy who ran off on the back got choked out by some Jibanchi glove. The last thing he ever saw was the price tag on. Slowly faded into darkness and I let the archangels take him. I need more Sequoia Banshee boogers. Don't be shy, girl. I love me some pastrami mud flaps. I'm moving like French Montana. Huh? <laughs> Welcome to the cream kingdom, bitch. Open up. Black China. I drink her piss out of another man's ball. My shooter a crackhead. He looks like Woody Harrelson. You ain't seen ten bands in your life, shit. Reach for my neck. You'll get turned into an example. Y'all gotta stop playing with me, man. I threw diamonds at the strip club it's under the Great Pyramids. I pushed the camel through the eye of a needle. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Tied the ops to the back of a track car and dragged them around the block for 24 hours. Motherfucker looked like a Resident Evil 5 campaign extra after we was done with. Ops wanted some initiative. Blew up their entire quad. I'm moving like Oppenheimer. She dropped that ass on me from an egregious angle. They thought I was Stephen Wall. Top shelf Zaza disrupted my circadian rhythm. I have seen the Magna Carta. I have seen the Eye of Aura. I was flipping bricks for Monza Musa before y'all even became a type one civilization. This shit ain't nothing to me, you stupid piece of shit. Step the wrong way and you will perish. That pussy feel like Biscoff, but you think I care about this shit? Ask me if I care about this shit, cause I don't give a shit. If I had a dollar for every time they said I gave a shit, I'd be broke, cause I don't give a shit. My bitch looks like David Hasselhoff. I balled so hard they thought I was a fucking nutsack. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. I'll kill you, you stupid piece of shit. I'm on them Georgetown Geronimos. I'm on them Nashville Nibblers. I left my Marcellas in the Benz truck. I'll have to stun on them next time. I don't give a fuck if I go blind. I don't need to see the price tag anyway. I'm high on 12 Jason Bournes, looking to beat the cum out of a thick, fresh oak. We smoking filtered crack, you stupid piece of shit. Fucking kill you. Call that pussy the matrix. Cause I'm in this bit and I can't get out. Last guy who ran off on the back got choked out by some Jibanchi glove. The last thing he ever saw was the price tag on. Slowly faded into darkness and I let the archangels take him. I need more Sequoia Banshee boogers.
flaps. Don't be shy, girl. I love me some pastrami mud flaps. I'm moving like French Montana. Huh? <laughs> Welcome to the cream kingdom, bitch. Open up. Black China. I drink her piss out of another man's ball. I shoot her a crackhead. He look like Woody Harrelson. You ain't seen ten bands in your life, shit. Reach for my neck. You'll get turned into an example. Y'all gotta stop playing with me, man. I threw diamonds at the strip club. It's under the Great Pyramids. I pushed the camel through the eye of a needle. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Tied the ops to the back of a track car and dragged them around the block for 24 hours. Motherfucker looked like a Resident Evil 5 campaign extra. After we was done with, ops wanted some initiative. Blew up their entire quad. I'm looking like Oppenheimer. She dropped that ass on me from an egregious angle. They thought I was Stephen Wobb. Top shelf Zaza disrupted my circadian rhythm. I have seen the Magna Carta. I have seen the Eye of Bora. I was flipping bricks for Monza Musa before y'all even became a type one civilization. This shit ain't nothing to me, you stupid piece of shit. Step the wrong way and you will perish. That pussy feel like Biscoff, but you think I care about this shit? Ask me if I care about this shit, cause I don't give a shit. If I had a dollar for every time they said I gave a shit, I'd be broke, cause I don't give a shit. My bitch looks like David Hasselhoff. I balled so hard they thought I was a fucking nutsack. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. I'll kill you, you stupid piece of shit. I'm moving different. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. I'm a dog. I'm biting the fart bubbles in the bath. We smoking symbiote. Smoking that Whoopi Goldberg, South Egyptian, Fur Burger, Deluxe, Mega Million, Scratcher, Skunk, Bubba Goods. We smoking Dung Beetle. I'm on 12 Vicodins, smoking on Scooby-Doo Dick. We smoking Sequoia Banshee Boogers. We snorting that good Buffalo Soldier Tamarind, Jordanian Jimmy. They must have amnesia, they forgot that I'm him. That Burberry Backwood that pussy smell like a Hellcat V8. We're smoking shit in a glass pipe, blowing the Lord's bubble. I'm sick in the head. I'm on them Broward County Tic Tac. I'm on them Georgetown Geronimos. I'm on them Nashville Nibblers. I left my Margellas in the Benz truck. I'll have to stun on them next time. I don't give a fuck if I go blind. I don't need to see the price tag anyway. I'm high on 12 Jason Bournes, looking to beat the cum out of a thick, fresh oak. We're smoking filtered crack, you stupid piece of shit. I'll fucking kill you. Call that pussy the Matrix, because I'm in this bit and I can't get out. Last guy who ran off on the back got choked out by some Jumanji gloves. Ever saw was the price tag on him. <laughs> Actually, let's do our let's do our two who BGM today. How's it going, homies? <clears throat> also, by the way, that was made by uh, Geyser in chat. In case you guys are wondering where that came from. Oi, oi, dude! Look, I got out these capacitor banks. This one needs to be repaired. It got fucking tor torched last time we we were messing with these. <laughs> Look, you can see the explosion mark. I was rocking out to the Dracula Flow 3. It's a pretty great o opening, for sure. Oi, oi. Top shelf Zaza disrupted my circadian rhythm. Oi, oi. Do I have any mods here, by the way? I just wanted to give the heads up. That if we end up having connection issues, which are not on my end, by the way. I did the speed test. My shit is fine. It's Twitch being a bastard again. I want in any mods here, I want you to smack that warning no backseating as fast as possible 
on any fucking Redditors that try to tell me how to fix my connection problems that are not on my end. <laughs> Twitch do be like that. If I was some sort of wrestler, I'd use it to walk out. <laughs> what, the Dracula flow? Hell yeah, bro. That 3 FPS. Yeah, I don't know. Normally, when Twitch is messing up, it goes out and then it flatlines and it comes back like a few seconds later. That one was doing some weird, like, ultra low fr uh, frame rate shenanigans. <laughs> Buy Twitch or pay premium for a dedicated ingest server. I would love all three viewers that would come watch me on my dedicated ingest server. So, dude, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm going to, uh... Oh, hey, Mantel, thank you for a year! I appreciate it. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm going to Open Sauce Expo this weekend. I'm going to be exhibiting my, uh... My, my rice frying robot. Which should be a fun time. Uh, hopefully it doesn't make too much of a mess for all the other booths. But, uh, it sh that should be fun. That said, in the Discord for Open Sauce, I'm a little concerned about how well I'm gonna get along with the, the crowd that goes to this, uh, expo, because I w they were like, oh, you know, what's your social- oh, I, I stream on Twitch. And, like, two different people were like, Oh, yeah, it, Twitch is owned by Amazon. I stream on a private ingest server. I was like, good fucking God. Oh, do you host your own social media with just, like, you and your mom on it for so that you don't have to, to sign up under Mark Zuckerberg, too, you fucking nerd? <laughs> Insanity, dude. Sounds like it'll be a great time. It actually will be a great time. I'm just joking around. Legitimately, it should be fun. Though I don't know anyone there. Like, Off Kai is like, that's my people. I know, I know the people that go to Off Kai. But like, Open Sauce? I don't know hardly anyone that's gonna be there. There's a couple people in this chat who are gonna be there. Uh, but I don't know that many. <laughs> Oi, oi. We went from streams that put you on a list to ones that makes them tell the news he was on our radar. All right, look, this is like a science fair project, okay? You guys see the word gun and you get all spooked. It's a, it's just a little rail gun. It's fine. It's not as bad as you guys are making it out to be. It's completely safe, but I'm not going to stand in front of it. Actually, it's not completely safe. The voltages and currents that these operate at are incredibly high. And we gotta be a little a little careful to not die while using this. A sudden shower of hot rice and oil would be a significant experience. Yeah, uh, you gotta stand in the splash zone. You know when you like go to a uh, a theme park and they got the log plume ride and there's like the place you can stand to get hosed just gotta have i'm just gonna have that zoned off in front of the booth i'm sure they'll be completely fine with that how powerful is that bank i don't have a number in jewels uh but i will say i had because i have these are two of the four that i already have and i have enough capacitors to make like another six or, or more so we're gonna have a lot but uh I can tell you this, when I wired it up before and I had to discharge it, I accidentally arc flashed myself with it. It puts off a mighty bright light when you, uh, when you discharge. It also blew away this copper wire. Uh, and on my little discharge stick, I had a piece of copper pipe and it blew a big crater in the pipe. There's a big hole in it. So I don't know how much energy exactly, but like, it's a decent amount. That's for sure. When's a homemade particle accelerator? Eventually. You, you can make a particle accelerator. Like, it sounds all mad science. It kinda is. But like, you can build one. <laughs> and it would be cool.
What sort of damage would that do to a Glizzy? Uh, nothing. The gl resistance of a Glizzy is too high. Keep in mind, this is not a high voltage. It's high current. It's like 150 volts. Maybe it's a no, it's 160 volts at like hundreds of amps is what it is. So the current is the main the main factor here that makes it dangerous. I ran it. The reason why I had to discharge it was because some people were like, oh, you gotta run through a glizzy. Ho oh, ho, this is the, the hot dog joke. You gotta do a go to a glizzy. So then I I did it, and it didn't do anything. And it didn't discharge the capacitor either. So I had to discharge it by doing this. Anyway, we're gonna patch this real fast. Oh hey, user totally different username. Thank you for the gift sub to Leo. I appreciate it. We use the railgun to protect yourself when the CIA come after you for making an engine that runs on water. I think my favorite... There's a lot of stupid conspiracy theories in this world, right? Like, we got, like, fake moon landing. Hell, fake moon. We got, like, hollow earth. But I think, despite all those being, like, very silly, the one that baffles me the most is that we've somehow... Developed a way to get energy from water, and we're just, like, not allowed to know that it exists. Because that is such an insane proposition. The minute an energy company realized they could charge oil prices and just give us energy made from water, they would be doing that shit immediately. No amount of influence could make them stop. Their ass- that's free money for them! They would be running that shit like crazy. Scientists discovered a way to generate free vapor from water. Yeah, so did I when I was boiling some pasta earlier today. Ah! Fucker! Fucker! Alright. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Stupid thing. <laughs> what was that? Oh, if you give twenty dollars, it shakes the entire desk. There's a there's like a giant vibrator attached to the bottom of the desk. It's a scooter motor with a lead weight on it. Oh, hey, backseat Bob, how's it going? <laughs> Scarier than the horn. Uh, cost four times as much. Where the hell did my splint go? Oh, there it is. Also, hey, Margo, how's it going? <laughs> All right. The hydroelectric plant at Niagara Falls isn't basically free money. It is, but hydroelectric plants have to be in very specific locations. Whereas, like, if you could just burn water for energy, like, that's a lot less specific, you know? But yeah, hydroelectricity is kind of getting water from it. Kind of, kind of free energy from water. Hmm. <laughs> Ow! Fuck, that thing's hot. The nerf gun is broke again? Wait, I literally just checked it. Literally right before stream? What part of it isn't working right now? Has the trigger come undone again? The trigger's come undone again because the tape is old. Understandable? It's fixed now. I probably should just replace that tape, honestly. It's fucked it up a few times at this point. It's okay. The occasional scam evens out the- Ah! Fucking hell. It's evened out by the fact that you get four shots now. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm like mid-molten solder right now. It takes a while to heat the whole system here. I think the other half is, like, still good. This isn't charged. I checked beforehand, don't worry. 
Alright. Our electric company is getting all mad because solar is becoming prominent. They charge the ones who don't have it more money? Shout out to the certain scientific railgun reference. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, do I call this a certain not-so-scientific railgun, or do I call it a not-so-certain railgun? <laughs> For what it's worth, I've never watched that full anime, but I know that it exists. I know of it. I've watched a little bit of it. I watched enough of it to realize it wasn't really my thing. <laughs> Oh, the tape on the Nerf gun is just, like, completely failing. Hang on a second. I'll just replace it. It's too, uh, it's too old and gnarled up. The problem with the Nerf gun is you have to untape the trigger down to replace the magazine. So you can't just leave it taped down all the time, which is a real shame. That said, I think it, it works pretty well. How do I find the backyard railgun maker and why is it entertaining? Hey, Wolf, how's it going? Welcome to stream. We got saw a lot of new homies in today. Did you guys see the Twitter post or something? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to be making more of these banks. I think maybe we should just make the rail. Maybe we should make the railgun part first and then make more banks, though. Because we have four. I have four of these. Which is probably enough to do something. It was enough to arc flash me when I was trying to make my uh, coil launcher. Which actually didn't work that well. Uh, but this is a little more suited here. You have a Velcro strap or something? For what? Here from Twitter? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome in, Twitter people. I see they, they've given some attention to my going live message. So, typically when you do a railgun build, like, and once again, I want to stress, this isn't like some kind of secret government weapon. People make this shit for like... Uh, okay. So I should add more things that trigger... That's actually really good timing, because August is when my two-year anniversary is. Or it'll be like end of July, beginning of August. And I'm planning an event stream. That'll either take place in July or August, depending on when the thing that I have to build for it gets done. Here from Offkai? Oh, really? Welcome in. Glad you like the Offkai panel enough to show up here. Okay, so, my idea here is, we got a long tube going to the rails, we slide one of these little BBs down the tube, it hits the rails. The rails will be connected to the ends of the capacitor. Now, if you don't know how the railgun, like, physics work, basically, you have a magnetic field. Okay, you want it right-hand rule, not left-hand rule. So, plus will be this side, minus will be this side. When this hits across, it's gonna short this out. And the shorting is going to cause a massive electromagnetic field which will push this forward, which will continue shorting it out and continue pushing it forward until it's off the rails. It's pretty cool. And that's the idea. Typically when you build them, you need a thing on top to keep the ball from bouncing out. Uh, Cause you typically just kind of shove it in there. But I think if we get enough momentum on the BB, we should be able to just get it to launch without it like needing all that. Is it the celebration? Oh, you'll you'll see. I hope I'm able to do what I want to do. If not, I got a pretty good backup plan. I'll trust the process? Hell yeah. <laughs> also, welcome in, Lava. It's his 140th birthday soon, guys. Yeah, yeah. Hag love, am I right, fellas? <laughs> Momentum helps... Yeah, yeah, not welding it to the rails. Well, that's why I needed to shove it. Because I learned last time, when I was messing with stuff, every time you short out the rails, you spot weld whatever you're... you're shorting across it. Because I had a, a... switch that was a pneumatic piston that would push a big copper piece in between two copper pipes that would close the circuit. And it would just spot weld itself. I was like, oh, copper won't spot weld. Nope. Yes, it did. It would spot weld itself to the fucking rails every time I did it. 
So, I want to make precautions here. How far can you shoot with that? Dude, I haven't even, like, got it wired up. I don't know how powerful it is. I mean, you can figure out roughly how much energy and then estimate, like, energy loss. But that involves doing math, and I ain't doing that yet. Hang on a second. I'm getting a little bead groove wooden piece to put this on. Now... Wood isn't really ideal for this, because at the currents we're running, it becomes conductive. But it's probably fine for, for this setup. Basically, I want to have a V-groove like this that the BB gets dropped into. That way I can launch bigger things. So the standard BBs that I have in this bottle here are about this size. And hopefully that'll allow that to launch. But I also got, like, these big pinballs. And it'd be kind of cool to see if they can launch, too. Is there any risk of it exploding? The capacitors, despite looking like improvised explosives, are not going to explode. But there's certain risk of, like, arc flash. That's for sure. I'm, uh, I'm wearing protective equipment in all of this. Chat, if I get banned for a major gift, it will be completely worth it. How will you get banned for it? I guess you try to shake the desk like 20 times. If you do that, though, I'll be real, I'm gonna just turn it off. There's a switch to turn it off here. I'm not gonna... As funny as the bit is, I'm not gonna let someone destroy all the shit on my desk just because it's a ha-ha funny bit. There's a, uh, there's a limit here. Rig up a redeem to pop a small capacitor. Yeah, actually, it's not a bad idea. That wouldn't even be that hard to do. I could, I could use the power supply that I got, like, right here. AV sent me a whole row of these little red capacitors that explode very, uh, dramatically. The thing is with that, that would have to be in, like, a bell jar or something. Because, like, I'm not wearing eye protection every minute that I'm live. Being ungrateful, the fans hard-earned money. If the hard-earned money... If, you know, $80 worth of hard-earned money breaks my $200 monitor, I, I'm coming out behind on this deal. It doesn't make economic sense. Safety squints, baby. I'm not gonna safety squint a capacitor exploding. Well, it does actually give you enough time because it takes like several seconds for it to actually burst. So you would have a time where it's like, ding, and then you have to like, you could turn around and cover your eyes before it blows up. Res me please, I have ray gun. Heard there's a rail gun here, but why the train hate fella? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'll just pay the additional hundred twenty and twenty dollar increments. Oi. You know, you can get something spray-painted on the wall behind there for $100, right? That's like the biggest... That's the biggest price redeem that I have. But maybe shaking the desk is more fun. I don't know. Uh, the Shaking the desk is 20 bucks now. I may end up raising it if people use it enough that I get annoyed with it breaking things. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. We'll see, though. I'll give a warning before doing that. Uh, I think... Do we have to worry? I mean, obviously, when this is charged, you can't touch the wood. But, like, how much bleeding current do we have to worry about through this wood at 160 volts? It's probably not, like, that much, right? You typically need higher voltage to really push the current through. Can you set up a redeem where someone sets off a real gun? Oh, uh, yes, my favorite, uh... My favorite stream suggestions are when people are like, 
How about you make a redeem that kills you instantly if it goes off? I'll be like, oh, that's very cool. And now even Margo's hitting me with this. I can't, I can't get anything, bro. <laughs> $100 to draw my face. Yeah, I, I could draw your face. Though, given, uh, I think, do I have black left? I know red. I bought red paint to be the next layer of paint on top. So you would be red because I think I'm out of black right now. I don't know if that's safe or not. That's safe enough. Well, I'm taking safety precautions. I'm trying to think of how to put screws on this that don't interfere with the, uh... With the running of the BB. Any chance you have better insulation? I have some, like, uh, plexiglass. Which is better insulation. Here's the thing. Do I care that much to go all the way out to the garage... Get out the jigsaw, cut plexiglass to shape, put it on the... Like, mm, that's a lot of work when I could just, like, bolt this to a wooden plank. Have to wait for yellow? That's fair. When you gotta build a face for the skull fella? What do you mean a face? He has a face. The vine boom was well-timed. Oh, hey, Lunar Helity, thank you for eight months. Why is the... Oh, I wonder if it disconnecting earlier fucked up the stuff. Hang on a second. Why does the, the horn not work? Wait, the horn's just unplugged? Oh, I forgot I unplugged it because... Ah, okay, okay. That's why it's not working. Yeah, Bob's plugged in. You can tell if Bob's plugged in because it'll blink. And if Bob's plugged in, that means the desk shaker is also on, because they're connected to the same power box. Dry wood is fine. That's what I'm saying. It's only 160. Ah! Oh, wait, time VT! Thank you for three months. I appreciate it. Has any of this ever gone off where you were offline? So Bob and the desk shaker get turned off at the end of stream. The horn and the nerf gun do not. And yes, they absolutely go off offline. And people specifically go out of their way to make them go off when I'm offline. I'll get people donating to honk the horn because they'll be, because if I say something in Discord, they'll be like, I know you're at your desk. It's bastard behavior, but they do get me pretty often with that one. Yeah, Curb gets me, that bastard. He's, he's one of the perpetrators. There's been a few. There's been a few people that have gotten me with it. <laughs> Were the house cats screaming from the other room? I'm new and I'm here to argue something. Hello, Dangrov, yes. Welcome to the stream. This is an AMA, arc for me anything. <laughs> Baiting you all into a Discord argument where I pretend? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> How's that? You're not gonna, like, keep me more at my desk. Also, I can use Discord on my phone. Don't get it twisted. Discord is not an investment. <laughs> Alright, let's drill the, uh, aluminum plate first. And then I'll tap it <laughs> into the, uh, wood. Yeah, nice. How do you get those capacitors? Okay, so, these specifically, one of my friends got them for me. 
because he works at a place that scrapped them. They scrapped, like, a whole pallet of them, because they, like, got... Someone, like, ran into the box with a truck or something, and then they, they were like, well, we're not allowed to use these because they might cause warranty faults or something. So they just put them in the scrap bin. He was like, hey, do you want these? He sent me a picture, and I was like, get me as many as you can. And he apparently, like, loaded an entire backpack with as many as he could and carried them out. What I have is not even, like, a fraction of what they actually had in that, like, in the picture he sent me. They scrapped, like, thousands of these. I have maybe, like, 400. Oh, ain't that life. I'm living large on this, dude. <laughs> this has been nothing but a good thing for me. <laughs> But yes, that's how I got all the capacitors. I am not a uh, beneficiary to a massive capacitor fortune. I simply got lucky with a friend being able to get me some. Hmm. How many microfarad are they? They are... 4,500 microfarad. So, pretty decent, honestly. Only 400? This is like... 60 pounds of capacitors. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if whoever ran into the thing... If they got, like, in trouble with it. If it was, like, off the truck. But I think it was someone in the place where he worked. I don't know. I didn't ask for details. He said, do you want capacitor? I said, hmm, be capacitor. And then he gave me capacitor. That's all I needed to know. This is a don't ask, don't tell kind of situation. Except instead of being gay, it gets me free capacitors. Oi, oi. Good luck with your stream. Thanks, bro. You really don't have to say my name in every message. <laughs> I promise you, I read them regardless. It's kind of the same thing. I right, true. Hang on, let me get some uh, short screws. I'm gonna bolt this one in. It's kind of hard to hold both these rails in. I think people got in trouble because of this. Are you, if you're talking about building a rail gun, I'll reiterate, this is a science fair project. But it sounds spicy, so it's a good stream project. But literally, like, if you Google DIY rail gun, you're gonna find, and I know because I Googled it to see if I was missing any information, even though I was pretty sure I could just wing it. One of the top Google results Guy who's like, I built this for my high school science fair project, and it's a railgun with some big capacitors. I assure you we are not operating outside the law on the construction of this thing. What's the expected power? I'll say yet again, I could probably calculate, like, the, the estimated joule output of this thing, but that involves doing math. And I want to do math right now. Okay, you know what? Because people keep asking. 16 per bank. 4,500 microfarad at 160 volts. Let me... See you real fast. Run the numbers. It'll spit out a projectile that will travel 5 centimeter. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm afraid of. Capacitor energy calculator. Capacity, uh, 4,500 microfarads, 160 volts. Each one of these has 57 joules, 57.8. So if we do, we'll round down to 57 times 16 each bank 
has 915 jewels. And then I have four banks, which is 3,648 jewels of energy. But I want to make another four, which will put us at 7,200 jewels of energy. Now, how well that's going to transfer into the magnetic energy necessary to launch this thing? People are like, dude, he's building a... Oh, it's so scary. He's building a weapon. This thing, realistically, I... I'm putting like 50% odds I drop the BB in there and it just goes woo and like falls on the floor. If it like launches, I'll be shocked because a lot of energy gets lost in light, sound, heat, everything except the magnetic field. Why did your chair sound like Yoshi? This chair is kind of fucked up and uh, it keeps like squeaking and creaking whenever I sit on it. It's very annoying. I misunderstood the four banks. This is one bank. See how I've connected them all together? I made these in a different stream. We're reusing them for this one, and then I'll make more. The only weapon is UO himself. Hmm, <laughs> if you think about it, I am the real weapon here. Hor, hor, hor. I think if I put the screws high enough, I can have two. I do want to have a lug here. I mean, if we're putting holes in our aluminum bars for scientific purpose, we might as well go all the way on that. Oh, this is a fucked up BB. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> What's wrong with this bearing? It's got like a line on it. You probably can't even see it. I'm not zooming in enough. Okay, let's not send that one. Okay, this is the right size. For it to roll. Ah! Hey, Drux Rob, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate ya. I came here because it neuron activated a hyper focus of mine. Welcome to the club, homeboy. Lots of hyper focusers getting neurons activated on this stream. <laughs> Let me give some thoughts there. You shocked it? It did not. <laughs> How many banks would you need to accelerate a steel ball to point one? Dude, I don't know. I'm sure there's formulas out there. If you watch a YouTube video where the guy spent a month building it, he'll be able to give you all the formulas. But this is a stream where we're gonna build it in four hours. So I ain't got all the formulas. We're gonna build it and we're gonna stick a ball in it and see what happens. You know how this works, bros. I should be wearing safety glasses while doing this. We got metal shavings. You are yelling to daddy again, kitten. Never say that again. <laughs> Again, because rail guns are cool in the expanse. Hell yeah, Virgo. You should have rebranded Uo Coco Melon. This is like Coco Melon for like mid 20s engineering nerds. There's a comment. Okay. This is how. Few, few YouTube comments are so influential that I remove, remember them later. I have started saying this is like Coco Melon for so-and-so demographic because there was a YouTube comment on the Gambler Core video that said this is Coco Melon for 56-year-olds. And I keep thinking about it. <laughs> Yeah, we just throw shit together and see what works. I got a, like, rough idea. I've been making things for many years. But, like, I don't know exactly how well it's gonna work. I just know that theoretically it should. I like how I said Gamble Court did not exact- Like, said nothing. Someone immediately knew what it was. That's how- That's how influential that video is. <laughs> and beautiful autistic women. Is that- Wait, what is that from? <laughs> 
What? That phrase is from something. Is it like a tweet where someone's like, I'm just here to find beautiful autistic women? I can't, I can't remember that now. Oi, oi. That's why I kept trying to get you to watch it. I join I hear beautiful autistic woman. I swear I saw a tweet or something where someone's like, this trend is liked by nerdy dudes and beautiful autistic women. Someone made a Oh, that was it! It was it was the tweet where he's like, uh Northern Lion and and Germa are similar in that their fans are both beautiful autistic women. That was what it that was what it was. Oh, I knew. I was in my brain somewhere. <laughs> This shit's throwing shrapnel, bro. First time chatter, autistic women are the best when you get them to stop collecting pets. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, bro. <laughs> Good old librarian. Figuring out that librarian follows VTubers that I know was like a brick to the cranium. <laughs> I mean, I should have assumed it because I know he likes VTubers because he makes references to Fauna in his videos all the time. It's just like surreal to be like, this is someone whose content I watch, which is just content edits of someone else's content that I watch. <laughs> And they're tangently related to me through friends. He'll fit right in, bro found home. I know, right? <laughs> Whenever someone comes in and their first time chat sounds like something that would be written by one of you guys that's been here a long time, you just know. They're, they're, they're here for good reason. <laughs> I don't collect pets. I have plushies and Gundams. That's the alternate path. You either go Catwoman or you go like... Gundam Woman. <laughs> I've been shadow following since you beat a hole in your stove with a walk. Fiend Kodo, welcome in. It is funny when people come out of the woodwork and they're like, I, they're, they've actually been following a long time. They've decided to stay silent and whatever I've done has made them like go, okay, I'll be here now. All right, maybe the hole needs to be a little bit wider because that's a little crazy. Or just plushies. Leo, you can't say you're just plushy when you take pictures of your dog, like, on a daily basis. You are definitely an animal collector. You are in this picture, whether you like it or not. Saying something so out of pocket, the monk breaks his bow of silence. <laughs> That's the vibe, isn't it? <laughs> it's like... If something happens that's wild enough to make the, the person who's been lurking for the last five months be like, Hang on a second. I gotta speak now. Oftentimes it's some really dumb argument about something. Speaking of, welcome in, first time chatter. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Oh, that's loud. Uh-oh. That wood split and it drove it further up and now it, the rail isn't in the right spot. Hang on, can we fix this? <laughs> I might not be able to <laughs> without drilling another hole, which would be unfortunate because you don't really want a bunch of holes in your, your aluminum. Oh wait, that actually worked. Hey! I don't know why I put all the BBs in this AL81 bottle. But it works pretty... Oh, uh, there goes one. But it works pretty well. Because I can put them in there with some oil so they don't rust. Alright. That should do it. And then I just have to prop this up like this. Just throw a screw in sideways to reinforce it. If you add enough screws, you don't need to worry about the wood. If I add too many screws, I have too many high, high voltage failure points. I don't want charged screws sit as sticking out of this thing willy nilly all the way down the rail. That is, uh, that is not conducive to this thing working correctly. <laughs> I think I can put a big lug here. And this is gonna be our primary rail. Or, sorry, these are our rails like that you get used for shooting. This is gonna be like our bus bar. I'm gonna use this refrigeration tubing that I bought for the Tesla coil. Because this should be able to withstand a decent amount of current. So, but last time, these were all wired to just this, and then that was the bus wire. That's like too, that's too, uh, weak. We need this, we need this really thick one to really pump the amps out. Should, yeah, yeah, we're not, I'm not giving any promises. <laughs> Boy, let's see if I can, uh... Alright, now this is a very... This is actually an ancient tactic passed down by my forefathers. Oh, see? Now it sits crooked because the screw's sitting out of the side, alright? Hey, yeah, bit of a genius. Don't be too jealous of my big brain moves. Now, when these are charged, this should absolutely launch this thing like mad. Watching a master at work. Yeah, not to brag or anything. I'm a bit of a railgun master. Okay. So, I'm gonna need, like... These connected? Desk is getting very crowded very quickly. <laughs> a rail gunner, if you will, yeah. Bit of a rail one. <laughs> Alright, that one sucks. <laughs> Let's do the... Let's just bolt this under this screw. What's the worst that can happen if I do that? Like, it's not like a, you know, set screw or anything, but it should be fine. Let me first bend it. Into a funny shape. We'll flatten the tube a bit. It being flat will be... Alright, 
slip this guy under here? Oh well. That's actually not out far enough. Let's get that guy under there. That <laughs> that was a <laughs> that's a horrible connection. Do we know which side bullet goes out of? Uh, this is the plus, and the other one's the minus. Here, I'll I'll draw on it so you can see. If this is plus and this is minus, then it'll come out this direction. We can tell this using the right hand rule. So right hand rule says current this way, magnetic field, the direction of the fingers. Current goes through this way, the magnetic field will go in towards the center here. Current coming back the other way, the magnetic field will also go in towards the center. Thus the force vector will be this direction. Unless I'm forgetting something dramatic. But I'm pretty sure that's true. <laughs> Who science had hand signs? Classic mistake in physics classes, by the way, is trying to do the right hand rule with your left hand. And I'd say that that's the stupidest thing ever, except I 100% have tried to do it before. I thought it was the left hand rule. No, it's the right hand rule. So I'm trying to psych me out, crossbow. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> oh, hey, Henus Bo Penis. How's it going? I just used left hand, then you did it wrong. You gotta use the right hand, bro. It's literally called the right hand rule. John Physics, inventor of physics, literally called it right hand rule. All right, hang on a second. Let's pop that drill bit back on here and we need to drill a hole. I'm saving up quarters to stick in Mothman's butt crack. Hell yeah. Are you going to the grand land of Appalachia so you can touch Mothman? and achieve your lifelong dream. Hell yeah. <laughs> I've only seen the Mothman statue once. Despite it being like, one of the state icons of West Virginia. That's pretty loud, damn. My lifelong dream of having gay sex with Mothman. Many have dreamed, but only few have achieved. Are you willing to take the plunge? This Pride Month, travel to Point Pleasant to find out. <laughs> it's a shame they removed that part from Fallout 76. It probably would have solved a lot of the game's problems if they had left it in. All right, that's a little more secure. Fallout 76 had gay sex in it. They had Mothman. And Mothman is a gay icon, so like, I don't know, I'm not saying it did, but like, it wouldn't be out of pocket for it to. It's bad because it doesn't have any RPG elements. I thought, of, no, it's bad because it doesn't have any Mothman gay sex elements. That's where they were really missing out on the entire train. It's also like an always online, uh, bullshit. <laughs> the left hand rule versus right hand rule depends on frame of reference and what is moving. Oh, thank you, Time VT. What is the left hand rule, though? I've literally only heard of the right hand rule. I'm an engineer, not a physicist. Gas station pizza rolls really hit. Bro gonna be developing hepatitis C shortly. 
I say that as if I don't like... <laughs> Eat some of the most foul things known to man. <laughs> I don't know anything about video games. You yourself said that you like it when I... You like seeing me in, uh... Streams where I have to play video games because I'm so out of my element that it's amusing to you. <laughs> I think I drilled through this too hard and now it's like splitting because this shit is loose. It should not be this loose. It's very amusing. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know anything about video games, except that when they do things I don't like, I go, ew, stinky. That's pretty much it. There's certain games I like, but I don't, like, know the theory of them or anything. I like video games like my parents like movies. Which is, like, you know, they'll go and see movies occasionally, and they'll be like, Oh, I just saw that new... Top Gun movie, that was really fun, but they, like, couldn't tell you why it's good. What is the one playing Devil Daggers? I'm sorry, that game needs to involve, like, gambling and be playable in a 30-minute time span for me to touch it. He hates woke moralist coming into gaming and appealing to the radical left. What are you talking about? What game? I, I know the average gamer. <laughs> Those can't be that prevalent. <laughs> I got this amazing shit called Balatro. Yeah, I know. It's been, uh, consumed at least 50 hours of my life, because that's how many hours I've played on Steam. And that's not counting the Switch version, which I was playing on the plane on the way back from Ofkai. You should play roulette, but roulette doesn't have any any kind of skill. Like that's just chance. I'm not I'm not that like gamba pilled yet. I need to be at least like I need to have at least like a hundred hours of streaming on kick before I can be that gamba pilled. He needs to become worse. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Are they a Mahjong psycho? That too. Mahjong is awesome though. And Mahjong has skill. No matter what the haters say. Oh good, that does fit. I don't wish lol upon anyone. Dude, don't worry. I would never in a million years play League of Legends. I don't hate myself nearly enough to. Even the people that like love it and aren't weird are like, yeah, this game blows. Anyway, I'm about to log my like 2,000th hour in it. I'll make an alt Twitch account and stream Jong every Friday. Why do you doubt your ability to stream it on main? Do your viewers hate Jong that much? What would wither and die playing lol? I, I feel like that game requires legitimate gamer skill, which I don't have. It also requires coordination with other people, which I don't want to do when I'm trying to have fun. It also requires not having fun, which I'm also not a big fan of doing when I'm trying to have fun. How you set the projectile. Listen, there's a little thing, it's called a, a, a tease. You gotta, or no way, that's not what it's called. If I just tell you all the secrets, then you can just like leave and come back later. If you wanna, if you wanna see how it's done live, you gotta stick around, bro. Then your questions will be answered. Why 
What do you think about Laos in Dungeon Meshi? Is that the... Is that the chubby dude that everyone wants to fuck? Because I haven't watched or read Dungeon Meshi. But I've seen spicy art of that fella on Twitter every time I log in being retweeted by mentally questionable women. It is? It is? Alright. Bless up, dude from Dungeon Meshi. <laughs> Don't talk shit about my sisters. Are you a weeaboo? Not really. I haven't watched an anime in a while. And they even had a new season of Yuru Camp, which is an anime I like, and I haven't watched it yet. And that's just like a comfy one you can put on. You don't even gotta stay engaged in plot, because there's not really anything going on. I'm one of those mentally questionable women. They let the lesbians outside for another season. I don't think the lesbians are the ones thirsting over the dude from Dungeon Meshi. Unless I got it twisted. I don't know. Maybe I don't understand the dynamic here. Also, welcome in, Meat. Oh, you're talking about Yuru Camp. Yeah, Yuru Camp's great. I watched the first two seasons. I just haven't seen the latest one. It's... I like my comfy anime, damn it. If I'm gonna watch anime. Yeah, there's a third season that just came out. It just came out like a couple months ago. It was like at the beginning of the year. I know because I was talking about it and chat told me that they were coming out with one or I wouldn't have known either. Back in my day, there was one season they only come out with a new season once every few years. Oi, oi. <laughs> when the lesbians pick a male character to be their wet little meow meow, they look more like L from Death Note than like a slightly pudgy boyfriend. That is a sentence, Rackham. You should be like, either like banned or VIP for that phrase. I don't need my comfy Chungus Wholesome 100. I just like shows that I can watch one episode of and then forget about it for three months, then come back and watch a couple episodes and then forget about it again. I don't want this like cliffhanger every week shit. I ain't got time for that. I got stuff to do. The lack of a second monitor has hampered my desire to watch anime. He's one hundo a lesbian character. What does that mean, though? He's a dude. What it- See, I don't understand the coding here. Okay. We're gonna have this guy just kind of chilling. Uh, we'll cut him off here. I totally didn't put something out of context into Google Clips. <laughs> Akuma, I'm very thankful that you clip my stuff. But, whenever you post something there, I'm always like, oh no, bro. <laughs> it strikes fear into the hearts of men. Ah! Alright, hang on. I'm doing everything all right. Bless up. Lesbians love men with pure hearts. Aw, that's sweet. There would be more clips if it wasn't cancer to clip on mobile. I'll come on fucking like, is my, my main bro for getting clips out into the world. Because he posts them on YouTube and stuff too. And Instagram, which I can't even make an account on without getting insta-banned. That's a lot of spicy bean cans. This is only half of what I've assembled. Which is only like a third of my actual stock. We got a, 
We got a lot of energy producers to be putting out here. What'd you do to the Zuck? I have no clue. He heard me talking shit, apparently. Because he won't let me take... He won't let me make a fucking account, dude. I can't make an Instagram account to save my life. They literally all get banned on creation. And I don't know why. You got me rooted here? If there's one thing I love, it's a good rail gun. She rail on my gun till I... I don't know. I won't do that. IP ban? Here's the thing, I've made it with alternate IPs, I've made it on a VPN, I made it in a different location, I had someone else make the accounts for me that doesn't live anywhere close to where I live, that shit still got banned immediately. Like, m different emails for everything, different everything. I cannot make an Instagram account. After like 10 attempts and all these alternate emails, I could not get one made. They assume everyone already has one, so anyone new must be a bot. There is something to that. Dude, if you ever have to go through the cancerous experience that is making a new Airbnb account, holy shit. If you're going somewhere by yourself so you don't have someone else's account to, like, add to the list and you want to get an Airbnb, you just fucking can't, dude. You gotta just get the hotel, man. Because they're like, hmm, there's no way someone doesn't already have an account in current year. Must be someone who's, like, escaping an old account. It's actual cancer, dude. And then if you Google the problem, you don't find other people facing the problem. You find people who have Airbnbs talking about how you should never rent to anyone with an account younger than a year. Which means they're just like perpetuating it. There's literally no way out. That said, after staying in a few Airbnbs, you're probably not missing out on much. <laughs> Trulia added this new capucha where you gotta press and hold a button to enter their site on mobile. It keeps saying try again. It's the worst capucha I've ever seen. <laughs> Filtering to just super host. They're the ones saying you shouldn't rent to people though. Because they don't want to deal with people who are like escaping bad reviews. I think is what the thing is. I'm putting the... If the stream's skipping around, actually, no, the bitrate's solid. I don't know what's going on for you, brother. Sorry, though. Got that out of the way. Let's make some more capacitor banks. Or we could connect our existing ones and test this one out, actually. My buddies tried to get a B&B &B for a week to introduce them to my Southern family in Mississippi. And system double booked us. We found a fallback, but brother broke down crying because he drove two days to get there for it to fall apart last minute. I don't have a lot of trust in their system. They're also, it's the fact it's one of these other, like, shitty app, co app companies like Uber. Where, like, what's Airbnb? You stay in someone's house and you pay. It's an app. Uh, where people put their houses up for rent. And you can, like, rent a house and then stay in it. It's actually very nice for when hotels are really expensive in an area. And you don't need anything fancy. You can just, like, live in someone's basement for a couple days. But it's, it's just really hard to book them. <laughs> Go look with a railgun. Oh, see you around, Goose Tank. Uh, 
Do they legit have access to your credit rating? No, because my credit isn't bad. <laughs> and I had trouble with this. They don't, they don't have access to your credit rating. They literally just don't want to deal with any, any people. I don't know. If you want, if you want an insane experience, actually, I'll tell you what I found while I was Googling around. There's a Reddit, because of course there is, called Airbnb Hosts. And it is full of some of the most horrid people on the internet. Legitimately, what a horrible place. You should go there and read it. It's so amusing. They'll be like, it'll be people who's like, okay, so uh, I just had some hosts come in. And of course I did my introductory where I went over to and knocked on their door and then introduced myself and uh, told them that they better not do any of these rule breaking things. And then considered, proceeded to do that every day for their uh, seven day stay. Uh, and they left, a they left a three star review on me because of that. Can you believe it? It's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, it's like landlords, but, like, they're not even, like, accomplished enough to be real landlords. So they're, like, even more insane. <laughs> Which is really saying something. <laughs> oi, oi. Gig economy landlords. Yeah, yeah. Slumlord? I don't know if slumlord's the right. I never say it stayed in a dumpy Airbnb. Uh, typically what you find, at least with the ones I'm still, when I get an Airbnb, it's because I need something really cheap or I want an entire house. Like, you know, oh, we have like 13 people coming. We need a whole ass house. Cause any other instance, I'll just get a hotel and not deal with it. But like, if I want something dirt cheap where I'm like, all right, whose basement can I live in? And then you get there and it looks like they took like paint buckets and just like splash them all over every single wall like every single inch of everything is whitewashed because it probably looked like shit before and they're trying to cover it up that's like typically the worst the worst airbnbs but they're they're never nasty because a anything less than a five star is treated as like an assault <laughs> See the wire monstrosity? These are my capacitor banks. I can actually... I could go ahead and go wire these up now, which might be the cool way to go here. Yeah, they're on their TikTok uh, get rich grind set. <laughs> so is this gonna work? We'll have them on either side. Uh, well, actually, I can switch to the camera and we'll just go over and start wiring them up. I could solder them all in place. I don't know if that's the play here. That's going to be a lot of work to undo. <laughs> Good night, funny investor man, as always. I'm not much of an investor man, but I appreciate it. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Guess level four star review just burn the house down, bro. <laughs> They'll legit like delete the listings and relist if they get too many bad reviews. Ah, Sarah, thank you for 15 months of T3, you legend. Hang on a second, let me get my mic set up. Also, welcome in, Sarah. I hope you're doing well. So many months of science. So many months, dude. We're science out of our gourd right now. All right. We'll get these two here. We have room for two more on either side. After I add these other two. And then we also need our Variac and our Rectifier. And 
and this guy here that I made last time. And this will rectify our voltage down. Funny thing happened in Canada is that a lot of new landlords bought a bunch of places for Airbnb. They can't do it. So now they're stuck with debt. <laughs> what, do they like have laws to shut it down or something? Canada do be like a, a let's just pass this law kind of situation. Not that I have any issue with that. The people that buy land specifically to rent it for Airbnbs are kind of a cancer on house prices. Which, even though I have a house, so I don't really have to worry about that, it still is like some bullshit. <laughs> Alright, let me make absolutely certain that I'm wiring this correctly. Because if I wire these in reverse polarity, the whole thing explodes. And though I'm sure that'd be funny, uh, it's not good. Smoke Gamba? I don't like when you guys want to do Gamba for things that are, like, subjective. Like, it's gonna make lights and smoke. So are you gambling on, like, a lot of smoke? Well, then it's gonna be like... Streamer, that was a lot of smoke. You're gripping me off. Like, I ain't dealing with that, bro. I ain't dealing with none of that. I can tell you right now. We're going to hook up just one of these first as well. I ain't risking all of them on this. What is the voltage limit? These are 160 volt. However, you could probably crank them higher before they start, like, failing. Spot world gamble? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If you're, let me show you the situation that the BBs are going to be introduced. So, I have this really long tube. This is a PC water cooling tube. But look how long it is for comparison. I'm going to put this up here because this is non-conductive, and I'm going to slide the BB down to see if it launches. Now, do you really think it's not, it's got a spot weld going that fast? Oi, oi. Because if you do, I can open some gamma. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to spot well. I'm like, I got some decent confidence on this. Let's see how it does without any power. No power whatsoever, just good old-fashioned, like... Yeah, it just shoots off there. Exactly like it's supposed to. Well, the full bridge rectifier explode. It shouldn't. It'll be disconnected from the, well, I guess the rectifier is technically still going to be bridged across this. It should be fine. How would it weld with aluminum? Spot welding can happen with any materials, I promise you. When you have this level of current, you legitimately do have to worry about it spot welding itself to things. 
Let's move these out of the way. We're gonna just wire up one single bank. This one to here, because this is the... Uh, positive lead. And then this one to here, because it's the negative lead. Hang some truck balls on the wall. Now, though it may be shocking to you, I don't just have truck nuts on hand. Now that I'm remembering, though, I did make bike nuts for that time when I made the truck bicycle. Where it had, like, horns and lights and shit. <laughs> and blue smoke. Spotwalling means instant metal merging. It's the, uh, intense arc will cause it to weld, yeah, like, weld to itself. And burn your balls. I did get burnt on that. Not proud of that one, that's for sure. Alright. This is our, uh, this is our Variac. So right now we have, let me get my safety goggles on for this. And I think the camera should probably be like at a side angle here. I just feel like this will let you be able to see it better because the pipe, the clear tube is going to be running out of the, uh, it's going to be, like, out the front, right? This guy. So let's do it at this weird side angle. Let me get my safety goggles and the bolt meter. Because I need to be able to see what voltage DC is across the capacitors. Oh my gosh, I just want this to wedge up under here. There we go. Is that enough? <laughs> Please do not aim at the pipes in the background. That is a good point. This needs to aim off to the side, because I do not want it to hit those. Oh, let's put this big... Oh, let's put you here. He doesn't stand up anymore, bros. Where I, where I need to take him to the pasture, because he ain't what he used to be. Alright, this giant box that was sent in to me. We'll have that be the target. We'll see if it, uh... Because that's lined up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see if it puts a hole in that box. Okay. This is just with one capacitor bank, so don't expect much. Turn it on. Uh, is this charging at all? Hang on a second. 
Where's my, where's my boomstick? Where's my shorting stick? There it is. It's not charging. Why is it not charging? Use your hand? I don't want my hand to explode. Why is it not charging? Hang on a second, hang on. This comes out. This to negative, this to positive. That is very loose. <laughs> hang on, I think that might be our our reason. This is a very loose connection. Let's see if it works now. Did you turn it off? Yes! Got to for safety. Nothing on this? Nothing at all. Not a single thing? It's off right now, just FYI. These are just the raw power rails. There's nothing coming out of this. Is it plugged in? Yes. Yes, it's plugged in. I had checked though. <laughs> Should it be doing something? You see this number? Oh, wait! You can't see this. This number should go up. The number on this dial should go up. If you can see that. I think you can. When I turn this... But it doesn't. Still using the discharge stick just in case. We're turning it off though. Hang on, hang on. This is actually weird. Why is that not turning on? Resistance check. Stop getting tangled. Alright. Capacitors are kind of fucking with this. Is it these capacitors? Are these like discharging it or something? Variac fuse? There is a fuse on the Variac. I can pull that out and see. But I, it, it shows output. Okay, as far as I can tell, the fuse on the Variac is fine. I mean, actually, there's an easier way to check that. Prop this up here. Probably said prop this up here. Stick this in the probe of the Variac and see if it produces any output. Oh! Is there some- wait. Is there something wrong with my Variac? Because <laughs> this is it stuck into the outlet output. One volt, 
Two volt, three volt. Ah, uh, okay, wait, there we go. Wait, what the fuck? Why did I not? Uh, okay. Interesting. Dry Variac Wiper. That might have been it. Maybe I just need to warm the Variac up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's see, uh... Crop that there. Stick this here. Set the DC voltage. No, we're not getting anything. Is this, uh, do we, do we, f we didn't fry the rectifier last time. I know we didn't fry the rectifier last time. Because, I mean, it would have been pretty obvious if we had. Huh, this isn't putting out DC voltage. And I'm not sure why. All right. Let's see what we messed up. This is kind of important for this entire thing to work. <laughs> also, this is the worst connection in the history of connections maybe ever. This shit literally crumbled off of this screw the minute it was up, put under any force. And if you look closely, it just ripped apart. All right, hang on a second. Rectifier or a cap? It's not shorting. I'm not seeing a short. So I don't think a cap is shot. Also, if one cap was shot, they're all in parallel. So, it shouldn't affect the rest of the system. We, we can sustain a capacitor failure without, like, any pretty bad... Caps tell you when they fail. That's why I only hooked up one bank. <laughs> I think there's something else wrong here. I think, likely, in storage or something, this thing got fucked up. I don't know, I don't know what caused it exactly. But let's give it a shot. Your electrical connections make those TikToks of rural India look good. You really got away with words. Alright, hang on a second, hang on a second. We gotta take this all out to see. Also, I'm not sure why we have it as a switch when we're using the rectifier. That's kind of unnecessary. We could just have the uh, the power cable and no ground, which would be epic, as the kids say. Oh, I found our problem! I found our problem. We really need to do a shock myself by accident counter, ah, uh, motherfucker. Shock myself by accident on this project lands me in the grave. We ain't doing a shock myself by accident counter. Why is my mic cranked so high? I just realized I'm like loud as fuck over here. There's a reason why there's so many safety precautions here. Alright, so you see how this wire is broken? Yeah. Fun fact, it's not supposed to be. <laughs> and that's probably why this wasn't working right. So let's go ahead and strip this. <laughs> why is he so mad? I'm not mad. Sorry my mic was cranked. <laughs> Typically there's a little notch on it that it's supposed to be set at. And apparently 
I had nudged it a bit beyond that. I've always wanted to make one of these. I know, same. This is one of those things that's been on my list for a while. And now, thanks to the wonders of streaming, I have an excuse to make it. When I got these capacitors, it was to do this build. This or a coil gun, which is also something I can make, which is why I keep all the capacitors separated into individual banks instead of just merging them into one giant one. Because I'm holding out uh, hope for a coil gun build at some point. I mean, jet... I wish jetpacks, like, practically existed, because they'd be freaking awesome. But I think you're more likely, in current year, to get, like, a quadcopter you can stand on. <laughs> Which someone has made, if you've never seen the video of the guy zipping around like a pond on a quadcopter that he made. It's really awesome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's the Goblin Glider. <laughs> I want a railgun for no good reason. You don't need a good reason to get a railgun. This thing's awesome on its own. I don't even know how this thing broke. But, uh, glad this was a simple solution. Coil guns need precise timing. You would need to be able to trigger them with, uh, microcontrollers, basically. To get the timing right. I built a coil gun though, not a high powered one, but it would like zoop, it zip a zip a little one of these little BBs out the end. But it wasn't enough to like break something, you know. It would just kind of out the end. And I was using photo gates. I was using photo gates, but I didn't have the means of switching current, which is the main problem. You really need the ability to switch. Uh, to, for the photo gates, like, go into a controller where you can adjust the timing. I know what a recoil is, so it hits it to project it. Oh, you're completely off base. <laughs> a coil gun is a gun, or it's a projectile launcher that has a set of sequential coils, and then you have something go in, it passes a photo gate, which activates the coil and pushes it through, and then that hits another one, which turns off that coil, activates the next one, and then it keeps going until it accelerates out the end. It's pretty cool, though. I built a little one a while ago that I was able to shoot BB's full auto out the, <laughs> out the end of. They just didn't go very fast because it was more proof of concept. All right. I'm extending the uh, copper end on this as well for good reason. <laughs> All right. There we go. There we go. How many jewels? Uh, a lot more than what I'm giving it. That's for damn sure. I'm not going to be hitting the weapon tier of jewels on this thing. All right, hang on a second. Get resuited. Let's go wire this boy up. Have you done any math? I should like take you out back and pop a cap in your ass. <laughs> you are you are not a first time chatter. I did do math on how much energy this would hold. I don't know how well that energy will be preserved 
into the projectile. But in our current banks, we're going to have 3,200 joules of energy. Let me switch the camera over again. Oh, shit's falling over. I have all the stuff for uh, open sauce stacked over here, so I had to clear it off my table. So there's a big mess over here. Here we go. We would only need math if it was actually important whether or not it worked. <laughs> or whether or not it shot the projectile well. What I will know is whether it works or not, it will do something visually ridiculous. Ah, I forgot that I fucked up that other rail that I needed to fix. One second. One second, one second, let's do that first. I forgot about this guy, which just came completely off. Twenty-two has two hundred jewels. Huh. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's no way a twenty-two caliber has only two hundred jewels. Can't open the e shotgun website. Why are you trying to open the e shotgun website, brother? Just because feds are like honey potting something doesn't make you legally like obligated to go on it. That's correct, 50 caliber super sniper is only 30k. All right. Well, as I said, the jewels that this is putting out are not necessarily the jewels that will be ejected through the projectile. Which is a pretty important distinction, by the way. Basically, what I'm saying is that for the federal agents in the audience, no, this is not a serious threat weapon. This is merely a science fair project. Well, we please, whoa, we put a lot of effort into the E Shotgun website. I'm not a glowy, what are you talking about? If I'm getting typecast as glowy, we know we've gone down a dangerous path. If I'm getting, if I'm glowy, then all of you guys are screwed. I have your Discord logs. <laughs> I've had to delete at least three posts for Fed posting. Which is not as many as I kind of thought I'd have to, given, like, the early chatters that I got. But still, like, come on, bro. Okay, those are secure. Let's, uh... Dude, everything is, like, in the way. <laughs> this is the positive, I believe. Yes, this is positive. So watch there be some other stupid problem with this thing. <laughs> 
Given that all this stuff was used on the last stream, like, I don't know, much like the, the rectifier circuit, I didn't check everything beforehand to make sure it wasn't toasted. I was just like, yeah, it's probably all, like, completely fucked, right? As long as the variac works, I think we're fine. Not to knock on wood with that one, because it does seem to be working fine. All right, we'll move this guy out of the way. Let's get this guy hooked up. This guy's on. Uh, the PDPG tube is fine. I'll put him on top of these capacitors that aren't connected to anything right now. Okay. This is completely turned off. I'm activating it now. Alright, now it's working. Let's crank this guy up. The capacitors are hitting limit around 150, 160. So that's what we'll go up to. I can hear it humming. I'm kind of trying to edge it so I don't blow the fuse or the breaker. I think I'll blow the fuse in the Variac before the breaker, though, which is unfortunate because I don't know if I have a spare. Alright. This hooked up. It's starting to drain. So, let's go ahead and see... If this works, also, this is a non-conductive tube, just so you know. Uh, hey, us. <laughs> second let's try that again huh excuse me is there something wrong with my balls Lorenz you bitch it's not doing hang on this is charged right it is, like, actually conducting to the rail, right? Here's my, uh, bang stick. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah, okay, well, the rails are charged. Jeez. Huh. <laughs> is it just not touching the rail? Yeah, that's one cat bank, by the way. Stop asking about- I literally just said I was wearing safety equipment. You don't have to ask. <laughs> I'm wearing safety equipment. Holy shit, it melted the aluminum. Why did the- Why did the BB not stick? <laughs> Hang on, let's try that again. And I'm gonna drop a much bigger, uh... I'm gonna drop that pinball on it and see what happens. Cause hang on, will that pinball fit down this pipe? Oh yeah, baby! We're gonna do a much larger ball. Oh wait, that doesn't fit down the pipe. Whoops. Hang on, I need a bigger pipe. What's the biggest pipe that I'm laying around? It has to be PVC so I don't die. Because I think the boom stick is the same size. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oi, oi. 
We're looking at one? No, no, no. The boomstick's too narrow. This needs to be like a pretty fat pipe. Oh, okay, wait. I have this really fat one. <laughs> That's like egregious. But we could use it in a pinch. Let's, uh, let's charge it up again and try that. The pipe final boss, exactly. Welcome in, Bother, by the way. Alright. Charge this boy back up. You guys have already seen the might of it. This is only one fourth of our capacity right now, and we I plan on building more more banks to add to this. We just need the pipe because it needs to have an initial speed or it's gonna spot weld itself. Alright, turn that off. Uh Yeah, let's see if this actually... Let's see if this actually works. Holy shit! <laughs> I did something! You know what it didn't do? Wait, where'd that thing go? It didn't completely discharge it. There we go. <laughs> Where did that ball go? It couldn't have gotten that... It couldn't have, like, hit that hard. Damn it, it's fucked up my pinball ball, dude. This thing's got a big welt on it now. Where it landed in the rails. Damn it. It looks like it only hit at the end. What? What's like causing it to not... Is it actually Lorenz Law that's fucking me over here? I think it, I, I think it might be. I think, so for anyone who doesn't know, hang on, let me get, let me get my uh, thing back over here. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know what Lorenz Law is, if you've ever seen the demonstration, or like, oh, I wish I had the best demonstration. Actually, wait, maybe I do. Do I have a copper pipe and a, Magnet. <laughs> it's basically, uh, when you have a magnetic field like that, it inducts a magnetic field in the ball that repels it from the rail. This is my, my theory is that this is what's happening here, because I know that this is an effect that can happen. It repels it from the rail, so it doesn't actually touch the rail unless, like... Unless something pushes it down on top. That's not going on because the field is being made inside the ball. It's what's propelling the ball. Oh, it's definitely what's propelling the ball. But I'm asking, why is it not conducting against the rail? What? <laughs> And most railguns do have a roof. That's what I'm wondering. Is it like somehow not actually conducting? Is it somehow pushing it out? Because the the uh, pinball ball only conducted when it rolled off the end. If you look at the strike marks, it only conducted at the very end when it rolled off. The resistance between rails when the ball is on it? A magnetized barrel. Magnets wouldn't be a bad idea here, maybe? 
That would slow it down pretty considerably. They have a coil oriented vertically to hold things together. So if up is outwards, it'll push away from the rail. Yeah, I feel like it's getting propelled away. Because it definitely should be touching. Like, no doubt about it. It should be able to touch the rail. But like, it's like it's gliding right across without actually shorting it. So maybe we actually do need the roof in there. If you got the ball rolling forward fast enough, you're simply dropping it on the rail. I had it rolling forward pretty fast and then dropped it on the rail and it like didn't, it just rolled. It rolled off the end without like doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Lightly nudge it and see where it's being pushed. What? Why? <laughs> what does that have? That, is, that isn't the issue. The issue isn't it going the wrong way. It's the issue is it's not touching the rail. Aluminum is protected by some layer of oxide. Did you, were you not watching when I just touched a thing across it and fucking exploded? Do you see those big marks on it? <laughs> that doesn't protect it from conducting. The path of least resistance is to go up off the rail. You know, I said experimental stream idea if you say something you know absolutely fuck all about i time you out i'm about to enact that because <laughs> some of you guys are saying shit that is not like real <laughs> you, you are you are blowing smoke out your ass <laughs> that is not how that works <laughs> Do it! Oh, and Eva, first time chatter, welcome in. <laughs> New here and already telling me to fuck people over. You know it's gonna be good. Don't the magnet gnomes provide the lift required to exercise the ball enough to be able to fly? Yes. <laughs> I like that phrasing. Yes, this is a magnetic uh, projectile at the end of the day. The pinball naturally craves the rebound. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Look up Rick and Morty inflation. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, no better luck orienting it north-south. I swear, dude. <laughs> I don't think that's the issue here. Have you tried putting a bullet on the aluminum? <laughs> if you drop a brass bullet and it, like, conducts through it, well, that set it off. Which, by the way, if a bullet isn't in a barrel, it doesn't, like, shoot. It just explodes like a firecracker. It's a common misconception. How much is a table shaker? It's $20. Table shaker. Oh, did the table shaker. A funny file firecracker or an evil firecracker? It's just a firecracker, dude. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oi, oi. It throws some, like, brass bits. But you know in movies... Oh, man, what movie is it? There's a movie where the guy throws a bullet on a stove and it, like, shoots. And it's like, that's not how it works, dude. Peony Possum! Welcome in! Frog and Poss back at it again. Oh, are you collabing with Koki? Welcome in! Raiders, how's it going? We're building a rail gun. Check it out. <laughs> oh, hey, Anita. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, Raiders. I soiled my pants. Don't think that message would not be seen by me. Just because they're going by fast. Oh, I caught that shit. 
Hey, homies. Hey, Koki, how's it going? I hope y'all's stream was good. <laughs> We're building a railgun is not something I've heard before on Twitch. Well, guess what, motherfucker? It's here! Now, is it successful? No, but it has exploded, which is kind of cool, you know, so... Um, success is, uh, whatever you make of it. Guy who is not successful at all. Let me get the... Let me, let me gear up again in my safety equipment, and I'll show you guys what I'm trying to achieve here. Isn't the second time? No, it's not. You're getting it twisted with the time when I made the coil gun or when I made the capacitor banks to try to launch rings off of a coil launcher, which it was really bad at doing, but it's really good at this. <laughs> Hope you're having a good one. I am, Peony. I hope you are too. It's 50% more efficient than a coil gun. Hell yeah, brothers. All right, let's let's charge this boy up. Cuz uh I don't know, maybe we can get it work here. Safety first, of course. So make sure this is turned off. Turn this on. This is going to tell. Can you guys even see that? This is our voltage. We want it to be at 160 for the rails to be fully charged. Even if it doesn't work, discharging it does look cool. So, you know, I'm wearing my safety equipment because this shit can throw projectiles. I'm gonna slowly crank it up, 50 volt. I can hear it humming, which is a sign. This is only one capacitor bank. I've got four. And then I'm going to build more once we've got, like, you know, basic operation working. All right. It's fully charged now. It's disconnected from the mains. It's just the singular capacitor bank. I'm going to try to make this BB actually, like, blow out the end. But it didn't work last time, so let's see if it does now. Woo! Hey, it did, it worked! Holy shit! Hey, let's, we got some uh, voltage left, so let's discharge that real fast. <laughs> what material is the BB? It's mild steel. It's not copper. Uh, ain't that rich. Mild steel is cheap, and it works well for this. <laughs> also, you want it to be something magnetic, I believe, to actually work on a railgun. Maybe someone's going to come in and be like, Erm, actually, you want it to be ferromagnetic. Open the spot weld gamble. None of these have spot welded. Though you can see where it's like... Blown holes in the rails. Because uh, it's very good at doing that. <laughs> Doesn't it turn molten? Yeah, in a in like a a military one, it turns molten. This has like two volts. Let's see those down. Now let's add the other three capacitor banks, and this thing should really be rolling. When are you making the orbital railgun weapon system since the UN Security Council rejected banning weapons in space? Wait, weapons are allowed in space? We can finally go to the one place not corrupted by capitalism. Space! Let's get the, uh... This one's a positive, this one's a negative. I don't know why I touched it like that to test. If you're gonna test it, you should do this, so that if it shocks, you get thrown back instead of gripping it. Tim Curry, please. I, everyone immediately knows what I'm referencing with that. It's a legend, uh... <laughs> it's one of my favorite... One of my favorite videos is just the clip from that. Because he's trying so hard to not laugh. <laughs> he's like... He's, like, psyching himself up for it. Oh, it's so good, dude. It's so good. 
That and the, uh... I mean, there's been crimes committed in space. Where the people, like, that committed the crimes got, like, prosecuted for it after they got back to Earth. I don't know if this is still true, but at one point in time, a hundred... One of my favorite factoids to whip out is that 100% of all space crime was committed by lesbians. But that's because there was only one committer of space crime. And it was a woman who stole funds out of her girlfriend's bank account. <laughs> if it's still true, it's still a funny tidbit. Oh, especially now. You can have... <laughs> Here's your Pride Month... Uh, <laughs> Information. <laughs> Despite making up fifty percent of the population, women commit a hundred percent of the space crime. <laughs> He's spitting. Listen, guys, it's not sexism, it's just facts. Alright. Get this guy clamped. This is gonna quadruple the power output, by the way. If you're wondering, if you're wondering how much extra power this is gonna provide, we are quadrupling the power output. Negative, positive. If I connect one of these backwards, it's gonna be like absolute hell, dude. <laughs> Don't look at the space intimate partner violence violence statistics. Wait, how many people have gotten freaky in space? This is a this is necessary. <laughs> Zero? That's not true. There's no way zero people have had space sex. This would, this is like something that's like the first people in space would have tried to do, dude. Buzz Aldrin was probably like, I ain't gay, but we gotta be the first ones to bone in space. Oi, oi. They didn't want the jizz to get into the electronics. <laughs> yeah, bodily fluids floating around would be an actual problem. That's why, uh, as the new, you know, that, that's in my, uh, I'm petitioning to be the new CEO of NASA so I can advocate for a sex room on the ISS. It's a necessary precaution for a changing world. All right. Negative, 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 negative. All right. Well, this can't sit up there anymore because now it's going to get shocked. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see if we can, let's see if we can make this work. Yeah, we're going for all four. I've had these all hooked up to the same circuit before. But last time I did it, my bus bars weren't right. These bus bars are way thicker and should be able to actually hit the capacity. All right. If the stream goes down, it means I blew the breaker. Just FYI. Power on. Slowly ramp it up. Capacitors are a dead short when they're uncharged. If you just dump everything into it, you're gonna blow the breaker. If you just, like, dump full AC into it. 
So we slowly bring it up so that they can reach their capacity. Spark gap EMP. Not intentionally. For the FCC uh, watching. Okay, we're about 130. Let's see if we can get to 160. All right, we're at 160. This is full charge, full sin. All right, PETG, this is an insulator. I can touch the rails with Alright, I'm covering my eyes because this shit gonna be bright if it works. Oh, also, I should not have that pointing towards my pipes. Just in the case that it's more powerful than I think it is. Three, two, one. Fuck! It didn't trigger at all! Alright, hang on, let's try that again. Three, two, one. Holy shit, that was loud. Oh my gosh. Oh, it works. <laughs> Where did that go? Pretty sure you're breathing the ball now. <laughs> Yeah, it's still charged. It's got 70 volts on it. I don't know if you can see the the display. I'm putting in hearing protection before I discharge it, because that was fucking loud, dude. I didn't realize it was going to be that loud, or I would have put hearing in uh, beforehand. This has, like, more safety equipment than anything else I do on this channel. I swear, dude. Uh, where, are my, where are my earplugs? One second. Oh, uh, we can use these. <laughs> Dude! That's kind of awesome, though. Yeah, I've got all this safety equipment and I'm wearing fucking sandals. Let's discharge it with a boomstick. I ain't risking this one, bro. <laughs> Dude, this is, uh... The safety requirement's getting too high. I'm gonna need a welding helmet here soon. Right now, I'm just gonna cover my eyes. All right, sit. <laughs> Discharge complete. OSHA death squad approaching your location. This ain't a workplace. The occupational safety group doesn't care about non-workplace safety hazards. All right, you know what I think we should do? You want one of those comically large resistors? No, no, no. Average coward giant capacitor bank maker. Ooh, we need to put a bleed out resistor on it. Versus the, uh, you know, slightly biased take versus the, the Giga Chad, I'm gonna stick a pipe on it and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make more capacitor banks. That's with four? Imagine we, we what we could do with double that, dude. Just fucking send it. But first, I'm gonna take a piss. Mean shit. That's a, that's a crowd favorite, dude.
You don't want a pipe, you want solid rods. What do you mean? For what? <laughs> Wait, how do I have a big slice down my finger? What the fuck? What did I get cut on? Hang on a second. Luckily, someone gave me band-aids a while ago, which might be one of the best things anyone's ever got me on throne. Definitely one of the most used things. My bad, this screen is so shit affectionate. Alright, you don't have to give me, like, the fucking autism tag, okay? <laughs> hey, Marvin, welcome in. Piss injury? Dick so sharp, I cut my finger. I cut my finger pissing. It sounds like a rejected Dracula flow line. Alright. It's time to make more dangerous capacitor banks. You got that sharp. <laughs> yeah, blood, sweat, and tears went into this. For reference, I have a giant box of these capacitors. <laughs> I can make so many more of these before we start running out. Can't believe this man is railing live on stream. This man railing, this man gunning. Alright. Do, 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 do. We do these in banks of 16 total. Which is just two sets of eight, if I remember correctly. There was no mod while I was gone? I don't think there was. That's when all the pins are crushed. It's okay. We can fix them when we need them. For now, let's get everything taped together into a large, questionable, can't bring it on an airplane kind of package. Oh man, it would be cool to bring one of these to a live thing, though. I mean, insanely irresponsible. These are so dangerous compared to, like, the normal robots. But, like, wouldn't it be awesome? If open sauce goes well this year, we're bringing this next year. <laughs> he, he brings the kind of energy TSA hates. <laughs> yeah, bro, you got it. Is this what you get up to, Colin Verse shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is literally like every stream. It's the exception that we don't do stuff like this. Tomorrow, we got another whack-ass project planned. Wednesday, now I do have to go to Open Sauce on this weekend, so I might need to take Wednesday off to prep for that, but hopefully not. I think we're on pretty good track. We got a different whack-ass plan. We got, I got a whole week of good stuff. I'm trying, you know, like when, like, you have, like, a deadbeat dad, but when he shows up to, like, finally talk to his kids, he, like, buys them a bunch of cheap toys at Walmart first so that he, like, wins their affection back. That's me right now being gone for all these conventions, trying to be like, no, guys, I swear, I was always there for you, haha. -ha. I, I swear, I'm still bringing bangers. He brings connects. No, that's fucking ballin'. That's not that's not uh cheap ass try hard. That's like actually ballin'. Kinda dipped at the beginning. Well, I've blown up multiple things. Sorry you couldn't have been here for it, bro. That's what you get for dipping. <laughs> I'm still cool, kids, please. Large chain of capacitors, you have my attention. Bro, we're adding to the the mega bank over here. <laughs> yeah, boy. Welcome in. 
Not to say we always do dangerous stuff, but we we often do wacky stuff for anyone who's new here. What did we do last week? I never am like able to remember what I did the week before. Oh, we built the the 130 decibel sound blaster. We built the uh Hang on, wait. Oh, the taser that I accidentally tased myself with. The Nerf gun taser. That, I think, is like one of the few times I've had something backfire on me. <laughs> yeah, of course, the Frymo. The deep fried Fumo with Morco. And cooking the round meal. <gasps> oh shit, I still have that in the fridge. Okay, I'm kind of afraid to eat the rest of the round meal. After stream was over, I was like, dude, I haven't eaten since, like, lunch. I'm kind of hungry. I know. I'll just eat, like, a bowl of this frozen macaroni that I pulled out of the fridge. Because, like, yeah, it's old, but, like, it's fine. It's been frozen. I felt like shit after that. Like, legitimately <laughs> felt horrible. And I don't normally feel sick from food, but I was like, I don't know. I don't know about that round meal, man. I think that might have... Gone a little sour. How long was it in there? At least a year and a half. No, round meal is real. And you can look at the VOD of me cooking and eating it so if you want to see what it looks like prepared. It's just a shitload of macaroni and beef. Yeah, at least three men in the room. It's definitely enough for three people. It's like four pounds of macaroni. <laughs> what is the capacitor's rating? 4,500 microfarad. I should, like, put text that says... Oh, this is where the chat is. I should put text that says what the stats are. Because people do keep asking what they are, and you can't really read it. It's 160 volt, 4,500 microfarad. Oh, you made that? No, I bought it. I bought it at uh, the local grocery. I think it's a pretty local thing. I don't think you can just get it anywhere. Four point five MF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking no one measures capacitor in uh millifarads. <laughs> no, forty five hundred U. I always say U F. It's not a U. It's a mu. But like, if you correct, if you correct me, oh, um, actually, it's a mu. I'm gonna kick your ass in real life. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna find out where you live and show up at the foot of your bed. It's UF puff em off. Yeah, mu F. I only just realized, I only just found out this week, this is off topic, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I only just found out this week that mewing is not a furry thing. It's like a, it's like a thing kids do. It's, it's like the modern version of joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a jaw thing. Like, societally, the modern version. It's joking for your jawline. Yeah, exactly. MF Doom Capacitor. <laughs> the Zoomers are really into it now. We've basically... It's great because... We've, like, psyoped kids into making dumb faces when they're standing around. How is that joke? I don't know about this analogy. Okay, look. I did not do this, but I knew people that did, and I swear this isn't just a ha-ha, totally not me, ha-ha. But back in the early internet, people would, <laughs> people would find out about joking because they Google... How to make your dick bigger, and they'd find that. So the modern version of this is people googling how to make jaw more pronounced, and they find mewing. My man definitely joked in the shower. I did not. I did not do it, I did not. Saying I didn't do it, saying, aha, uh -huh, I know friends, is like more sus than just saying what it was, though. I kind of fucked myself over there. Does it even work? No, I don't believe so. I don't know, maybe someone in this chat's gonna be like, my schlong is massive ever since I started yoinking it in... 
<laughs> in a regimented exercise. <laughs> but I kind of doubt it. So it's like planking? I don't think planking was supposed to like do anything. I think that was just like a fad, right? I remember, and maybe one of you guys could find a clip of this somewhere. I remember one of the most embarrassing things in the world when planking was like a popular fad that people were posting on the internet. On like season 12 or whatever, long past the prime on American Idol, there was someone who auditioned and they got their like brother or friend or something to come in and like plank in front of everyone while they were doing this. And it was the most awkward and like weird thing. And it sticks in my brain. I have that like, that's a core memory. Whenever I think of, whenever someone says planking, that's the first thing I think of. That and the guy on the McDonald's sign. Isn't planking for abs? No, no, well, yeah it is. But there was this trend in like 2014 where you would lay like a plank and you take a picture of yourself. This was like the dawn of the challenge era. The original challenge was the ice bucket challenge, which was actually done for charity. So, you know, for a good cause and all that. But then like, that started the trend of like challenges, like social media challenges. And then planking became like a challenge uh, it was around the time, like, the Cinnamon Challenge, if you remember that. Which, that one was kind of funny, even though I think someone died doing it. It was funny except for the guy that died doing the Cinnamon Challenge. People also died planking, because they kept trying to plank in dangerous areas. Or, like, they, like, I think someone, like, fell off a sign or something that they were trying to plank on. Cinnamon challenge walked so Tide Pod could run. That's actually, that's kind of real. Oh, the challenges were so simple then. Now shit's more complicated. And like the filming requirements are higher because <laughs> everyone has much better cameras now than they did back then. I only know planking from an internet historian video. Holy shit. It's so old. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess if you're like, if you're like 20 now, you would not remember when people were planking. Because that would have been when you were like a little kid. Uh, for me, unfortunately, that was like the first year I went to college, I believe. <laughs> when that took off. Uh, Harlem Shake was another one around then. I think planking came like right after. That was kind of the pre-challenge. At least it's not yaoi paddles. That's like specifically weeb culture. Real people did not experience yaoi paddles. Only people who went to anime conventions in the 2000s did. I miss the Harlem Shake. It was kind of a banger trend. It was also what got uh, Filthy Frank started, which is kind of funny. Harlem Shave walked so that Joji could make music for 14-year-old girls. Don't remind me of the glomping. Oh, that was another thing. Keep in mind, I did not experience any of these firsthand because I didn't go to anime conventions. I didn't go to any conventions like that at all until I was already streaming. I went to Off-Kai last year. It was the first time I'd ever been to a convention like that. I didn't know what to expect. And now look at me, I'm going to conventions every two weeks. What is glomping? It's when you tackle someone, but it's not assault because it's anime. That's literally, like, it's literally like tackling someone sideways. I think someone, like, broke their back doing it, though, and then it got mass banned, if I remember correctly. I saw a real person with a free glomp sign taped to their back. Oh, no, 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 no. Someone getting a running start and tackling you into a hug. Dude, it was a it was a a primal wasteland. <laughs> that was the paddle. 
Someone got their back broken doing weeb shit. It might have been the yaoi paddle. It might have been glomping. I don't know. All these end in permanent injury. For one, one unlucky person gets permanently injured by it and it ends the generation. Nice bank, bro. Thanks, bro. Isn't it, isn't it a dank bank? No more foam bits. Didn't someone get hurt at Offkai jumping into the foam cubes? That was TwitchCon. Offkai didn't have a foam pit because they knew someone would piss in it. Lady at TwitchCon SD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to TwitchCon San Diego this year. That'll be a good time, I'm sure. I bought the tickets the minute they became available. I know I know what I am now. I'm a filthy con goer at this point. I'm gonna put the knife here and then just pull the wire out from under it. This should strip the whole thing. Yeah, it did, it worked. No pits after dash con. When will they learn? When will they learn that their actions have consequences? Hasn't the Twitch fandom suffered enough? Yeah, it was like one foot of of foam blocks directly over a concrete floor, and it had a thing in the middle spinning around so that you could, like, play Wipeout on it. And some woman fucking ate shit. Watching this as an EE is like the guy in Clockwork Orange. What, this? Shush. This is fine procedure. <laughs> hey bother are you gonna be at twitchcon this year gotta hit you up if you're there i think some of the other science bros are gonna be there i i remember i met the scientech people last year when i was there because they all had a panel together it was uh moo hoodles paleontologizing science uh Nerduino and uh wait was there a final I think there was another one I don't get out would consider it that's fair but it is really fun especially if you know a few people going that you can hang out with like I highly recommend you gonna be a Salcon these years <laughs> what Salcon Hmm, sulk on these nuts. <laughs> Lamau, I got him. Bro, your shit's outdated. Your shit's old. Bro, you're so fucking old. Go home. Where's your family? Alright, let's get these soldered up real fast. No, that was the con for the Saul films. Don't think you can hit me with Saul con. This is like trying to hit me with a DN. Trying to hit me with a Sugandis. Trying to hit me with a with a Bofa. Is this 2017? I lived through it, bitch. I know what all these. I know the tricks. Don't recite the magic to me, witch. I was there when it was written. I seen all this shit when it was being prototyped. I do miss the days when you could hit someone with a joke like that though and it, they'd actually fall for it. Do you know the Wendy's <laughs> nut? The the Wendy's one? Yeah, yeah, Wendy's nuts hit your face. Or <laughs> that one's getting creative. Someone did hit me with one I never heard and they they got me with it on stream, which is impressive because I think I've heard every D's nuts joke in existence. If it wasn't in that video of the guy dressed like a doctor who just, like, rattles them all off in succession, then it's not one of the golden children of D's Nuts joke. Those are, like, that was, like, the defining, uh, video for it. It's also, like, one of the best things ever made. <laughs> he was in the ooze when that was forming. He was formed of it. <laughs>
Hmm. Ah, my sponge! My sponge is dry. How can I wipe the solder off the tip without a, with a dry sponge? Yeah, the Candace. Candace dick fit in your mouth. Can you? Yeah, can you slob my knob? The old days of getting people to press Alt F4. The old delete system 32, a classic. The Suganese is a good one because that sounds like an actual, like, country. Unless you're thinking of it in the f <laughs> in the terms of a tease nuts joke. Peony literally alt F4 today. Y'all tricked that poor woman into, into alt F4ing during a game. I'm guessing that was a chat troll attempt. That could have also been a Koki troll attempt. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her. They'll check this video and it's Rick Astley. That's like charming. I can't even be too mad when I get Rick rolled because it's like, ah, oh, the good old days. Ah, just like the old days. Just like they used to make my moving pictures. Right, okay, Grandpa, let's get you into a home. I did appreciate the work of Amba Singh quite a bit. Is that some kind of D's nuts? Amba Singh? Amba S Hang on, wait. How does that get D's nutsified? <laughs> Man, I should be better at this. This is like If you're if you're on stream, you become you got to know like every single one, right? Including like the ones where people try to trick you into saying something that can get you banned. You got to just like have them You got to have them on deck. Lemon party over messenger, a classic. I had a friend who threw a, a lemon theme party and called it a lemon party, and I was like, do you, do, do you know, do they know, or do they not know? <laughs> Hang on one second. Oh, that's a good peel. Who up destroying a dick? Unhealthy? What the f <laughs> Chat, does he know? <laughs> I love the fact that it's becoming, like, slang to say, Chat, is this real? I don't even call you guys chat. You think I'd, like, be on the cutting edge of Zoomer lingo, but no. I'm even missing this one, and this should be, like, in my wheelhouse. But I've never said chat one- I don't think I've ever said chat to you. To you guys. I just say, oh, hey, bros, how's it going? I call you guys my bros, because you're the real homies. I'm increasing the parasocial stats. <laughs> oh yeah, I did make it long enough. Eyebrow raise, eyebrow raise, winky winky. You just said chat, is this real? I was referring to the th Don't be- that's like, brother. Past the age of six? You should not be pulling out the, oh, but you just said, it. like, that's like actual toddler strats. That's toddler comeback strats. You grew into a man, you put behind, you put the childish things behind you. You gotta come up with better, with better snapbacks, bro. It's been over two months since your debut. You've never called us by our fan name. That's not true. I've called you slab rats before. Sorry, I enjoy being the most annoying person ever. See, now I feel like shit. <laughs> We're just getting a little silly here, broskies. He does say brother like Hulk Hogan. You got me there. You can get me on a lot of things, honestly. I do say brother a lot, like... It's not a, in a Hulk Hogan way. Isn't he canceled? Didn't Hulk Hogan get canceled for being racist and also having a massive cock? I've heard both of these information, like, in the same- at the same time. So now I associate them with each other. Even though I think these are two independent, like, 
instances. He did? He's a bad person, yes. You sure you aren't mixing him up with Dog the Bounty Hunter? How do you cancel a bounty hunter? Oh, this guy, like, catches criminals and, like, is constantly on the edge of the law? Oh, but he said something that's a little insensitive, like, come the fuck on, bro. <laughs> Hulk Hogan's downfall is intricately tied to a radio personality called Bubba the Love Sponge. Yeah, he was fucking his wife. And then he said something, something racist while doing it. <laughs> and then they decided they didn't like him anymore, so they released the tape, which is the most insane, like, series of events ever. <laughs> You'll get over one ferad using 224 of them, if my math is right. Uh, no. We're going to be in the thousands of jewels, which is like the equivalent to a rifle shot worth of energy. Which, uh is, as the kids would say, pretty fucking cool. Could happen to anyone. Yeah. You need to have, like, the agreement beforehand, you know? Okay, I'll fuck your wife, but if you're gonna film it, you can't re later release it because I say slurs while in the heat of the moment. Thousands of Julios. He inadvertently took down Gawker Media. Wait, how did that happen? That's kind of based. <laughs> that publication sucked. What? Were they also fucking his wife? Where people pronounce Jules as Julio's. That's because you live in South America where they say the J like that. In America, we say, Jules! But they'd also call you Julio. So, you know. He didn't like Gawker outing him as gay. Zam. I didn't know that. Those AliExpress caps? No, 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 no. These are... I, I got these from a friend. I told the story at the beginning of the stream, but I'll do it again. I need to clear my name. I got these... Basically, a friend that works at a place nearby was like... Dude, we just scrapped all these capacitors. He sent me a picture of a scrap bin full of these. And he's like, do you want any? And I said, as many as you can carry. So he stuffed a backpack full of them and he brought me as many as he could sneak out, I think. These are ethically sourced scrap packs. Scrap caps. And they're not from AliExpress. They are real. If he had been able to get all of them, I could launch a bullet to the fucking moon with these things. There was thousands of them in there, probably. But I got, like, 400, which is still a lot. Maybe not four. It's either 400 or 200. Maybe it was only 200. He had to... He, could have, he couldn't carry out an entire pallet. Which is effectively what was scrapped. Because the picture he sent me was a scrap, like, hopper that was full of capacitors. All right. All right, child, let's take down a satellite with this ball bearing. The U.S. military could never dream of this much capacitor discharge. Uh, if I had, like, one of those big, like, power substation caps, I want to build a quarter shrinker. I've talked about this before. With enough energy, with enough capacitive storage, and, like, tens of thousands of amps of current at hundreds of volts, you can shrink a coin by like basically fattening it you wrap it with a few wounds of wire and you put it in a container hook that up to a lever switch with a big cap throw the switch what the cap shorts across it 
immediately basically evaporates the wire with the amount of energy dumped into it. But in that instant before it evaporates copper, it uh, inducts such a strong magnetic field in the coin that it's wrapped around that it crushes it symmetrically and leaves you with a smaller coin. You can look it up online. It's really cool. There's a few people that have the rigs to do it. One of the guys... <laughs> I do remember the YouTube video for one. It's like this really old dude and his wife demoing it. And he's like, all right, honey, throw with a switch. <laughs> Most of these electronic projects, despite being like badass as hell, are mostly done by old farts. It's kind of it's kind of funny. Like building uh, fusers is mostly done by old people. They're the majority of the of the communities around it. But this could also just be that like, if I build one, I'm gonna build it, be like, that's awesome, and I'm gonna move on to another project, but old people will like putter around with it for years. And then they'll be the ones that write all the shit on the internet about it is probably how that works. <laughs> there we go. All right, this bank is finished. Let's get the other bank wired up. We can then we can try it with six banks. See how we do. They're living the dream of becoming a super villain or mad scientist. Old people don't have sensitive cell phones to explode with RF. That's true. You can really fuck things up with that. Yo, Robotech83, welcome in. That's a very relevant sounding name. What were you guys up to? Software and game dev? Yeah, 16 banks of 16 each. That's exactly right. What were you guys developing? Hope your stream went well. Try it with a thousand. Here, check this out. This is the current setup. Which, as you can tell by the burn marks, has been somewhat successful. I don't know where the BBs are going. The bearing last time, I closed my eyes so I wouldn't get arc flashed. I don't know where it went. But it kind of launched. And we're about uh, to increase this by 50% when we add these two. They're going into your lungs. I don't think I'm evaporating steel. I don't think I'm at that level of power output. But it is kind of impressive how much power we're getting out of these. You're lucky we don't have real supervillains. I mean, yeah, we don't have people who are like, I'm gonna create cancer just to like, do it. But you have people who are like, hmm, yes, we make better money if we create cancer. <laughs> The BBs are just getting obliterated when they hit the wall. They should be hitting that cardboard box, but I don't think they are. That or there's going to be a hole in the box that I haven't noticed yet. One of the two. Could you fire marbles? They have to be metal. So the way a railgun works is you can see the rails there, the little like V shape. The a bearing, in this case, it'll be one of these guys, goes in between, it lands on the rails, which shorts it out, creates a big EMF field that then launches it forward with the magnetic power. So it's pretty, it's pretty powerful that way. Uh, I tried to use it on this pinball and you could see the giant welds that it put on it. That was only with one power bank, too, I believe. Don't know how fast they go? Yeah, I don't either. I'm just kind of guessing, like, which is kind of all you can do here. Because uh, I don't know all the physical properties that are taking a toll on it. If we knew, if I had a better grip on, like, what the physics going on was, we could get a decent estimate because we know the energy that these are capable of outputting. But I'm not sure how much of the energy these are outputting is getting turned into uh, 
momentum? And how much is getting turned into light, sound, and heat? First time watching a stream? Hell yeah, dude. Welcome in. We got a few first-time chatters here. It's because the Twitter post did well, right? Whenever a Twitter, whenever the Twitter going live post gets like more attention than usual, we got we get a lot of new homies. I don't even think it's like new Twitter followers. I think it's just people who have like been following to watch the clips, and then they're like, "Ah oh, hell, I'll check it out." It's always really fun when we get that. Because a lot of the clips, like the clips are cool, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of fun stuff that they have to cut out because I have to fit them in like a, a one minute, two minute long comp. So there's a, there's often like, there's been stuff that's exploded that hasn't made it into the clips. So if you only watch the clips, you're missing out on some, some golden moments. BRB following on Twitter? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Twitter and the YouTube have have ample amounts of clips that get posted. Before I streamed, I did editing, so I'm very adamant about, like, <laughs> getting clips out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These fumes, bro. I've been breathing solder fumes for a long time through my life, and I'm wondering if it's done anything negative to me. There's not actually lead in them. Uh, it's just the flux, but it's still probably not too good for you. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know. <laughs> Do you not have a fan? <sighs> yeah, you guys. Hey, Lamal. Deep core carbon monoxide was... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, the carbon monoxide alarm going off. That is, like, the only time it's gone off. Which is wild, because I played... I played Mario Kart on a Wii that I made to be gas-powered and ran that in the basement and it didn't set the carbon monoxide alarm off. And that was actually to the point where I was like, dude, does this thing work? Because keep in mind, the carbon monoxide alarm goes off at levels long before it starts becoming dangerous for you. It, like, it goes off way early, right? Because it wants to give you plenty of time to get out of there. And somehow that didn't set it off, but the the Demon Core Grill was enough to set it off. Crazy. <laughs> Need to get a floor fan? I have a few ventilation systems. So I have this fan that I can turn on. Uh, if I can see the switch. Two, three. Yeah, this- I have this fan. But then you're gonna hear it, because it's loud. And then I also have a, uh... A fan with a big tube that I can put out the side door of my house. So if I'm, like, barbecuing down here, it sucks out the smoke and the carbon monoxide. Yeah, that's what the beeping was in that video. <laughs> Portable charcoal grills have huge warning- Alright, listen, fool! I built it myself and didn't have no warnings on it. Look, we did completely fine. If I have any kind of accident where I get like, I accidentally poison myself with something, it ain't gonna be in this basement because I got alarms out the wazoo for stuff going wrong here. This is where I expect things to go wrong. The real danger is something going wrong in a different part of the house where I am not as uh, prepared for disaster. Did you get rid of the box? What do you mean, the box? The box of what? <laughs> I built it myself. I, I made it out of metal that I bought. <laughs> there was no box. 
How much is your medical insurance? Too much. Thank you, Obamna. My medical insurance doesn't go up when I have to make a claim. <laughs> Which is good, because I have had to make some claims. Not because of anything that's happened on stream. I have not had to go to the hospital due to something that happened on stream. But, I did have to, uh... Like, I got into streaming because I started watching streams because I got hurt and couldn't walk for, like, six weeks. And I was laying around watching streams instead of what I normally do. So that's what got me into streaming, was technically my hospitalization. <laughs> Have you gone back to cycling? Dude, I just did a, a ride this weekend. Like a, uh, like a, an organized ride. With some friends. I did 30 miles, which isn't that long. I did, it was a short ride. I ain't got time. I don't want to wake up at 6 a.m. And I'm also not in great shape. After I did the 30, I was like, I could have done. Because I think the next one up was like a 45. I was like, I could have done the 45. But it was a fun time. And it was really pretty. It was pretty hilly, uh, where it was. So, maybe it would have worn me out more, but I was feeling pretty good at the end of it. What happened to make you not walk? I got hurt from cycling a lot. So, I originally thought it was from a crash that I had had that, like, did some kind of injury. But they're not really sure what it was. Basically, I just had this, like, pain in my hip that kept getting worse and worse. And instead of resting, I was still, like, I was getting really in shape for cycling and, like, going, like, 20 miles a day every day. And I was like, oh, yeah, dude, I don't want to stop doing this. I'm on, like, this great track, right? Uh, but it was actually making that injury worse and worse. And eventually, it got so bad that I couldn't... I woke up and couldn't walk. So there's where we are. Hey, Pilodro, thank you for 10 months of Prime Sub. I appreciate it. That takes dedication, because you got to manually do that resub. Ever been a victim of the Smirnoff icing trend? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard of that. Ice this man. <laughs> Bro's never been iced. I literally have never heard of this. That might be before my time. Possibly the hamstring then, if the knee failed to support you. It was my hip. If you're really interested in my <laughs> injury history, what they eventually found, which they took fucking forever, because they didn't believe that I was actually in as much pain as, as I was saying I was, because there wasn't anything that they could physically see. Uh, eventually they got an MRI, and they were like, Oh, you have like a bone growth on your hip. And just over time, probably with cycling specifically, made it rub against the cartilage, and it just wore all, wore all of it away in a spot. So that's why it took so long to heal. I had to wait for my cartilage to regrow. Scamming for pills. The like... Yeah, I ha ha making... Paramedics haul me out of my house on a Saturday morning and then sitting in a in a hospital for eight hours is like the worst way to scam pills in the world. <laughs> you all make it believable to get more pills? I don't know I don't know if they thought I was scamming pills or they're just like, ah, this guy doesn't know what's up. I don't know. What I do know is they didn't really care when I was in the ER. They are like, oh, there's no broken bone. Ah, you're fine. Go home. And then I had to, like, see a specialist, like, a week later. And then I went to him, and he's like, oh, you probably just strained something. I was like, dude, it's not a sprain. This fucking hurts. I've had sprains. This ain't a sprain. He's like, oh, no, no, no. Sometimes they can be, like, pretty painful. Haha. -ha. Anyway, go home and see me in a month. Then I came back a month later, still on crutches. And he was like, wait. 
You shouldn't- you should have been, like, completely healed by now? Okay, maybe you actually aren't lying. And then he got an MRI scheduled. Steal a script pad from the doctor? That's like- that's like one of the most illegal things you could do in a hospital. <laughs> you got hit by a car and they prescribed you Tylenol? Yeah, they gave me three days worth of pain meds. Which they wouldn't have given me, except that I literally couldn't get out of the bed in the hospital. And they're like, we need this fucker gone. Ah, fine, give him like a few days worth. And then they're like, yeah, we prescribe you, a uh, big Tylenol. Like, thanks, bro. Glad you, uh, believe me. <laughs> you heard of InMove. InMove. Sounds vaguely familiar. I don't think I know what it is, though. Alright. Once this is soldered up, we can go test it. I got big Tylenol for doing a flip down a flight of stairs. They called me back and said you <laughs> broke ten ribs. What the fuck? <laughs> They're so, like... I think, uh, doctors are so, like, fucked up by the fact that, like, in the 80s and 90s, they were just, like, prescribing, uh, prescription pain meds for everything. And then they're like, oh, damn, we got an opioid crisis. We gotta stop prescribing these for literally anything. And now it's like a pain in the ass for them to actually give you anything. This injury isn't expensive enough. Oh, I assure you it was expensive enough. Thank you, insurance. It would have killed my ass to have to pay for it out of pocket. Granted, you don't. If you if anyone who's non-American doesn't know, you don't actually pay what they tell you. They give you a, a big bill if you have to pay out of pocket. Life hack. You say I can't pay it, and they're like, "Lol, okay." And then they give you a smaller bill. The reason why they give you the big bill is so that they can write it off as a loss when you don't pay it, and then they pay less taxes. Fun fact, in case you're ever wondering how you get out of that. <laughs> oi oi, insurance doesn't even pay that much. They paid everything over my deductible, that's for damn sure. They better, too, because I pay them way too much for them to not pay anything on it. Alright. This needs to be a pretty strong connection, because this goes down the entire subrail. Alright. Might be gating the current capacity by these wires which are not as thick as they could be for current capacity but it's probably fine <laughs> let's strip the ends of these and then we're ready to go rumble don't let them find out about the streams oh they cannot no one no insurance of mine can find out about these streams. Medical? Nope. House? Nope. Car? You know, that doesn't make sense, but probably also nope. They had to do- a, they did an inspection on my house. I got a letter in the mail, they're like, we have to inspect your house for insurance readjustment. I was like, ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna have to deconstruct the whole ass basement, and it's like exterior only. Oh, thank God. If it was interior, I'd be so finished. I'd be cooked, bros. There is no, there's no way. There's no way they would allow this. They'd come out here and be like, what the fuck is this? New stream title, making my car run with water. I'm not gonna show my car on stream. If I do that tour across Ohio stream that I want to do, I'm going to rent a car for that. Oh, 
I want to see the specs of the slab and wagon one day. It's a pretty boring car. Oi, oi. Mmm. -hmm. I'm in a good stretch before I go and blow my eardrums out with this railgun. Let me get the... here. This is... Each stage we add adds more layers of protective gear I have to wear to operate it. Where's my welding helmet at? That would be really useful for this. That would be, uh, that'd be ideal. Let me get my, my earplugs in. Why would you just say cum-powered car? No pretzel, I haven't seen you comment anything this whole fucking stream. You come in just for this? Come in. <laughs> Alright. Enough of this, bros. Slab owns a 2014 Toyota Tundra. A Tundra is damn close to what I used to own. I used to own a Chevy Suburban, a 2001. At the beginning of 2023, so last year, I bought a uh, I bought a new car. It's like the nicest thing I own. It's not even like a fancy new car. It's a very like practical choice kind of new car. But I never owned a new vehicle. I'd owned that same car since like high school. So it's really cool to just have something new. Soccer mom slap. Don't fucking. You don't even know what the car is, motherfucker. Ah! Holy shit. That shot, like, one shot, and then it sounded like it grinded up the nerf dart. One second. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, make sure this thing isn't fucking up my darts. Oh, it's obliterating them. Fantastic. All right, one second. Now that should fix it. Nope, it doesn't. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Hang on a second. I mean, I know I'm getting lost in the sauce here. Because I'm fixing the Nerf gun and like, I'm like edging you guys on the rail gun right now. But this is my, this is a good redeem, damn it. I want this thing to work. <laughs> and it's also, this is like my new refresh of it. Oh, wait, I think I see what happened. This dart is jammed. Ah, oh, maybe I shouldn't use these, like, bootleg-ass nerf, <laughs> nerf darts. <laughs> I feel like that might be contributing to the downfall of Western society. Now it works. I don't like- okay, hang on. If I put the gun upright, the gun points at my face, which I'm not a huge fan of. Let's put it like that. My man got them Adventure Force darts. <laughs> Dude, the off-brand ones are so much cheaper. Ow! Fucker! Oh, King Okaze! You haven't been here since I upgraded the gun. Rating on the caps, 160 volt, 4500 microfarad. Hang on a second. 16 per bank. Hang on a second. I need to turn my microphone over there on. I can't vibe check the mic at all because I have earplugs in. What new additions did you make? It's a completely different gun. Instead of being a single shot thing that I have to reload every shot, now it's a full auto gun. 
that shoots three or four shots for your donation. So it's a better deal for you, and it's easier for me, because I don't have to reload it as much. It's kind of like good all around here. All right. Ow. These are spiky on the top. Let's wire these boys up. Ah! Where those even go? <laughs> Hang on, I'll position it so you have a chance of hitting me from that distance. Those just like launch straight into the furnace in the basement. So thanks for that. I'll get a spicy surprise when I fire that up this winter. Turn the house down again. Again. Bro, it ain't that bad up here. <laughs> oi, oi. Mmm, burning tart. Wouldn't be the top ten worst things you inhaled, that's for sure. For someone who doesn't smoke, I've inhaled a bunch of foul shit in my day. Okay, that's the minus. The minus. That's negative. Here's positive. These, these lengths of refrigeration tubings just are big bus bars. Why did that spark? These should be completely uncharged. There's 0.5 volts. did have a bonfire in the basement and it was on purpose but uh it wasn't supposed to set off all the fire alarms that part was not on purpose Okay. I'll double check polarity after just because if you get it wrong the bank explodes which is something I'd prefer not to do if I could avoid it How goes the linear acceleration? Oh, it's coming along. All right, we've now upgraded to six banks total. Six banks for your books, A eh? Zoom out a bit so you guys can get the view of like the entire stack. All right, let's, oh man, I don't like being this close to it. B6 spark, baby! Move this here. Okay. All the way off. Power on. Slowly charge this thing. in slowly increasing the power because I don't want it to get so much that it blows the fuse. These are capacitors, not batteries. Yeah, yeah. Which means they can discharge at a much higher rate. I'm gooning the power. 
Father never talks like this on his stream. He only says shit like gooning the power when he's in this chat. <laughs> The discharge of that array is low-key and- I mean, yeah, you're about to witness it, brother. I can see the dust of the last BB I sent down it on the thing. We're at 116. 120. Oh, motherfucker! Don't shoot that over here now. Luckily, I have earring protection in, so I can't be jump-scared. Alright, we're at 150, and then we'll cap at 160. Alright, 160. This bank is fully charged. I'm mildly afraid of this, but I've got my protective gear. <laughs> Maybe I should use the welding helmet. Where's that at? Where'd I put my welding helmet? That would be well suited to this. Here it is. Uh -huh. Just so you know, extra face protection would always be nice. Okay, okay. Hang on a second, hang on a second. I'm getting suited up. Let me, let me get... <laughs> 152 across the rails. safely discharge this real fast. on the camera <laughs> still has charge on it. Why does that still have 52 bolts? Ah, shit. Oh, this came undone. That's why. Now it's zero. Ah, I see. Okay, I don't know how much force the ball launched with, but let me show you guys what it did to the rail. <laughs> Honey, I punched a hole in the basement. <laughs> I've already put one hole in the basement wall. I don't want to do it again. It's not something I'm uh, proud of. Of accomplishing, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. 
Here we go. Okay. So, I want you guys to look at this. There is a trail of melted metal across the rail where the ball took off. Here's the impact. It kind of doesn't even touch it until it hits the end. But that's... This wasn't there on the last, so that's just from this last one. That trail is. So that's kind of awesome, is what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying is this kind of epic. That's a good sign. You've somehow made something more dangerous without microwave transformers. I'm gonna have to go short every single one of these banks before I do work on this thing. Because I do not want even a chance that there's charge on any of these. Because it may be like, I don't know. The connection broke. So let me just... I think they're all clear. It shows that there's like two volts across the bus, which isn't much. Now it shows zero. I was like, ain't nothing surviving this. <laughs> oh, it actually, uh, I just realized this didn't just come undone. It blew the screw apart. The screw is separated. It's, like, visibly separated. What do I do to fix that? <laughs> what do I do to... Hang on, how do I fix that? It's this guy... This guy here... This dude... Lex tape, solder it. It was the smallest pass through. I thought there was enough contact with the with the copper, but I guess yeah. I guess that ended up being the uh, the weak point in the entire operation. So okay. Well, let's rip this guy out if we can. Oh, the head's like spot welded to it. Oh, so I just can't rip it off. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Oh, I also, when I shorted it here, I blew a hole in the refrigeration line. That's kind of cool. I don't know if you see that. But like, look, look where I shorted it here. There's holes in it. This thing just completely like decapitated the screw. It's pretty awesome, honestly, that it has the force to do that. Put a resistor on the bleed stick? Do I look like a pussy? I put a resistor on the bleed stick. The bleed stick should make it explode. Because it's awesome. Oh, this rail is also loose now, for whatever reason. Yeah, that was at half voltage. That was after it had already been, uh, set off. I could, uh, drop the <laughs> pinball on it and just see what happens. Because that will like, dead short. And probably immediately weld it. <laughs> Do you see the damage to the wall? I don't see the damage to the wall. I don't even see the BBs. I don't know where the shot's going. I'm gonna make this sure this next one hits the cardboard, though. Because that will actually, like, blow a hole, right? It's so heavy, it is. Did you check the ceiling? <laughs> I didn't. Oh, well, I don't blast through the water line. If I ever hit that water line and break it, I'm gonna feel like the biggest idiot in the world. 
I will truly be God's biggest dumbass if I blast my own water line with something. The bearing's getting atomized. It's <laughs> yes, the, the Lorenz force does work here. Would make for a hell of a clip. There's like, there's diminishing returns on funny clip versus like massive house damage. I don't think busting the water line is worth it for the vine, bro. I don't think the returns on that would make up for the amount of money and trouble to replace the water line. Dude, I, this is like full on, I can't get this off. Oh, I did. Holy shit. Okay. Well, this is now like... Oh, the bolt is in. <laughs> Did I get this out of the hole so I can reuse it? Ah, fuck you. Yeah. Hey, I can reuse it now. Ah! Does the horn work? Yes. Yes, the horn still works. Hey, Jabin, thank you for the resub for six months. I appreciate it. Appreciate getting the prime. That's always cool. Let's see if I can get... Ah! Let me get another bolt and washer. Oh, that one's been atomized. Then you need sprinklers in the basement? No, I did not need sprinklers in the basement. I can't think of something I'd rather have in my basement less than something that starts spraying water if something catches on fire, which happens all the damn time. That would be legitimately, like, one of the worst <laughs> things to have. These are proper fitted screws. Mold disaster. <laughs> It'd be a disaster for many reasons. Oh, wait, I found a BB. I found one of the shots. Oh wait, this must be one that missed because it doesn't have any marks on it. And any of the ones that hit definitely are going to have a mark. CO2 is the superior one. Chat want to see BB? It's just the BB. It doesn't have anything on it. If I find one that's been impacted, I'll show you guys. Because keep in mind, there were several that didn't do anything. Before I eventually got it to the point where it was. The screw is too big. There's just some burrs in the hole. Because this is literally the same screw that I just took out. I'm going to have to re-drill this shit. One second. This is a pain. I want to add more baits, damn it. And I think we'll technically have time to add one more set of two banks. Someone in 1955 getting shot with BBs. <laughs> when this BB hits 88 miles an hour, we're gonna see some serious shit.
You work for NASA for real? Yes, I work for NASA. It's a little bit of a clickbait. I wasn't a full-time engineer for them. I was an intern with them. But I did work for them in an engineering role. Oh, hey, Condition Bleed. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. You're just in time for another firing of the railgun. All right. Starting the off position. Let's start charging her up. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I unplugged it. <laughs> For safety. All right, never mind. We're fine, I think. Start at zero. Start charging her up. All right, there we go. Slowly. Don't want to overwhelm it. You could totally make this backpack connected. Thanks to uh, lithium ion batteries, yes. It could even charge, like, without having to be slowly cranked. Because those things can put out so much current. Holy shit, I just spotted. Oh my gosh. There's a washer on this capacitor that's going to short it out. And I only just saw it. It's this guy right here. I have to like remove it. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe that didn't flash. I guess I couldn't get a good enough uh, conductance. Okay. Alright, let's get this thing cranked more. <laughs> that had me scared, dude. <laughs> How about it's not blocking the camera? At a hundred volts. You know, I should wear the weld mask while doing this. You're right. That's a good idea. Let me put that on. Because it can. There is a chance that this explodes. And you know, not being arc flash, kind of banger. Okay, we're at 150 and 160. Tapering down 161. Yeah, I'm more I'm definitely more afraid of like getting smacked with something than I am of the UV. be pointed at the cardboard. I'll nudge it a bit in case it's not. And hope it doesn't arc. Firing. Hope it doesn't Firing. explode while I do Firing. that. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! That blew shrapnel everywhere. That, that BB fucking exploded, dude. I saw pieces of it fly off. That shit did not launch. It didn't... It did not escape the rail. <laughs> I saw, like, shrapnel. I'm not on fire, don't worry. Where's the high-speed camera? I can take slow-mo with this camera. But I can't stream at the same time with it. It stutters. 
So if you don't want me to do a slow-mo footage, I gotta, I gotta take it offline for streaming. Let's try this again, though. There's still, uh... Oh, only 23 volts. I guess it converted most of the energy. Here, I'll hit it with a little bit of discharge then. Yeah, easy. That's kind of awesome, though. That's... That's some power for sure. <laughs> Do it after stream for us? You know what? That's not a bad idea. Because I've done uh, glamour shots after stream before. I'm going to put the slow-mo guys music in the background. Hang on a second. Let me take off my protective gear. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> this is the most safety gear I've had to wear for a stream. <laughs> Let's make two more capacitor banks. And see what happens if we have eight banks on this bad boy. I think that that's like... That's, that's going to be so goaded, dude. Here, we'll switch back. Backseat Bob doesn't look impressed by it, but you know. You'll just be blowing up our BBs. The military ones, they've determined how to keep the BB, or like, it's not a BB. They've determined how to keep the projectile together enough to like make it out the end of the barrel. We have no need for such... For such primitive things, like having a working BB at the end. <laughs> the good news is, the ATF won't be on our ass for making uh, projectile weapons, because this shit don't shoot anything. It evaporates the ammo before it leaves the... <laughs> they use brushings? They use big metal rails. I don't know if they're aluminum. I don't know what metal they're made of. But they use rails that have to be replaced regularly because they get blown to pieces over time. It's hardly even a solid object. It comes out seven times the speed of sound. Seven times the speed of sound. Crazy. Crazy that such things exist. Have you know, in the capacitor box, we aren't even on... Like, I'm about to just now get to the bottom layer. Because they're stacked in here in, like, a big grid. Like... This capacitor is the first one I've pulled from the bottom layer of capacitors. That's how many that we got here. You made a BB evaporator. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Where's your headgear, Private? Hey, wait, why did I not shoot the nerf gun? Oh, wait, you shot all the ammo, I think. <laughs> Bro emptied the gun. They use aluminum, what idiots. I can just fold the barrel. My bits got eight. <laughs> hey, you're getting... You're in three or four shots for your bits when you used to only get like one, maybe one. I, I feel like occasionally getting ripped off, it ain't as big of a deal now that you got so many more opportunity, you know? Oh wait, there is some left. The tape just came off the trigger. Dude, the tape trigger thing, I need to fix that. That's like, that's the, the, the linchpin of this new nerf setup not working correctly. Is always the trigger coming undone. <laughs> he ain't getting ripped off if I can help it. Oh yeah, yeah, hang on, Julio's here. He can get you the refund once I reload it. He get you a nuclear trigger. 
Speaking of nuclear trigger, when can you get me that nuclear component that you found in your old circuit book? I need one of those stat. Do I know what it does? No, but it'd be really cool to own one. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. I don't like that this thing's like pointed at my head now. Hang on, lay down sideways, bro. You don't need to be pointed this high up. Oh, wait. I now realize why it's so tight. The cable's wrapped all around it for some reason. Oh, it's not working. Hang on. Damn it, this thing... Taking too much of my time to fix. Too much of my time to fix for the majority of the problems to be caused by the trigger. And the rest of them to be caused by a bullet being stuck in the chamber when the trigger doesn't fire. <laughs> the stream's gonna finalize the reversal of Earth's poles. That'd be, uh, epic. I am impressed by the amount of power that this thing is putting out. Like, bros, we're doing good work here. I hear kinky shit going <laughs> off camera. <laughs> ah, now it works. All right. All right, you got your wish. Let's... The tape noises and the trills. <laughs> I swear. No, bro, it's nothing. It's just, uh, the Nerf gun. I would put another thing of cardboard there to be sure. Can I shoot it then? Yeah, whenever. Whenever you think you can catch me off guard with it. You can give my man the, the refund. <laughs> Let's make our other... Wait, we gotta add at least one more capacitor bank. But really, adding like another couple cap banks would be kind of baller just to see how powerful we can get. How far can we take this? Supply keeps coming, bros. Need at least one kilofarad? Good lord. <laughs> I don't think we're on that much. These are measured in microfarads. This man's gonna fuck up the water line. Dude, I'm telling you, it's evaporating the BBs. I think we're beyond projectile at this point. It's not evaporating them, it's blowing them to pieces. <laughs> I'm like pretty sure that last one hit and came out in like multiple molten chunks. Because I saw spark, giant sparks fly all over the place. I'm gonna have to fucking fire watch this basement after this. Make sure it didn't ignite some wood or something. The last one, like the other ones, people were like, oh, it might have blown up. And I'm like, yeah, I think it kind of just like didn't launch. 
But that last one, that definitely exploded. <laughs> Maybe, ah, fuck you. Maybe they've been exploding the entire time. With two more banks, they should explode even more dramatically. That extra bank did add a lot to the, the power output. <laughs> gonna be a diff if a cap goes. I really hope the caps don't go. If we get a cascade failure, I'm literally running out of the basement. I don't know if you guys have seen a cascade failure. They're pretty, they're pretty nasty. We shouldn't get one because these aren't wired in, uh, these aren't wired in series. But what you can get, if you wire them in series to increase the voltage, because the way that capacitors work, all right, resistors uh, in series increases resistance, like you just add them up. Uh, and in parallel, you have a different thing that you run to figure out. You have a different formula for figuring out what the resistance is, but it increases the current carrying capacity to run them in parallel. With capacitors, series allows you to add the voltage. You have to do a formula to figure out the capacitance. Uh, it's 1 over C1, C2 to Cn. Uh, but the, uh, in parallel, is you just add the capacitance up. He's gonna say square root, chat, brace yourself. No, I didn't. I said, I said 1 over C. And then, yeah, it's 1 over R for resistors. Remind me of high school physics again. There's a reason why I normally skip over the math parts in these streams. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important for understanding what's going on, but it is important for understanding the failure mode here. Because, see, people... Ignorant newbies, totally not me at one point in time, will think, Oh, I have, a th like, say, 500 volts, and I have all these... 20 volt capacitors. Let me put a big line in series to get a 500 volt capacitor. That's a great idea. And it is, in theory, something you can do. Here's the thing. If the capacitor fails in such a way that it shorts, which is a way that capacitors fail, you now have the same row of capacitors, except now they're all getting more voltage because you now don't have one in the series, which then causes another one that's maybe close to the tolerance to go, oh, time for me to fail too, which then means everything else is now taking even more voltage over the limit, and then it does that again, and then eventually all the capacitors are massively over the limit and they all explode. It's a cascade failure. A classic failure mode for capacitors. Uh, anyway, if this cascade failed, which it shouldn't because they're not in series, they're in parallel. It would be like, I, I mean, it'd be like <laughs> a disaster zone. I'm sprinting out of the basement. If I find out I accidentally hooked one in backwards or something, and I see it like start expanding, I'm not unplugging, I'm running. Yeah, if they're different capacities, which they are, because, you know, resistors, if you get, like, anything other than, like, the cheapest resistor, you're getting, like, 1% tolerance. Capacitors are, like, 10% tolerance. Which is why you likely get that initial failure on the cap. Congrats, we're getting a new home just like you wanted. Bad news, we gotta get out of this house right now. Average time for one of these to pop would be like seconds. I don't know if I'd even get out of the basement before it blew. But once one blew, oh, they're all going pro. <laughs> if the conditions are there that cause one to explode, it's probably gonna at least cause the rest of the bank to explode. Which is uh, a terrifying prospect. The more terrifying prospect is that I gotta come up with yet another stream 
to give me an excuse to make capacitor banks because we still haven't used all the caps. I've still got a massive box of them here. We got like several more banks worth. <laughs> I'm tired of having this big box of capacitors sitting around, dude. We gotta turn all these into cat banks so we can have, like, a massive discharge of them all. We're already at the blowing uh, bearings apart tier. Imagine how far we could go. The risk in parallels if you exceed the limit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm very carefully edging the voltage in mine. Technically, they should be able to withstand a little above operating voltage. Can Crusher? Can Crusher. I mean, I can do that with pneumatics. When we have it in a chill stream, making a blast shield. Not the worst idea. <laughs> Blast shield would be expensive to make. It would need to be clear so I could see through it. So it'd be like really thick plexiglass. If I'm being real though, if I'm making a blast shield, it's gonna be so I can make battle bots. It's one of the main reasons I haven't made like legitimate battle bots. It's not even cost. You can actually do some pretty, some pretty damaging ones like on the cheap. It's just the fact that like a real one will throw shrapnel at like a hundred miles an hour. So you need, you need cages, you need like a cage and plexiglass. Preferably. Pulse lasers with big cat banks? Yes, but those are typically higher voltage than this, I think. Well, if you're doing like a YAG to get the strobe, the strobe light output to charge your YAG crystal, this would be like pretty good. Blindo sends its regards. Why is that the one battle bot that everyone knows? Whenever I talk about battle bots, everyone here says Blindo. Is that the most famous battle bot, even though it's like technically illegal now due to how like destructive it was? Use the Lorenz Force to crush the can. Holy shit. Oh, you're wanting me to like coin crush, but instead can crush? I don't know if we're gonna have that much power to do that, because that's like an insane amount of electricity, but I like the idea. I think of Jay Leno's battle bot. Jay Leno had a battle bot. Was there a stint where celebrities were getting into battle bots? <laughs> that's a that's a wild, a wild thing if true. They are kind of like cool enough. They're cool enough. That even if you're not a nerd, you would think it'd be awesome, you know? You don't have to be a nerd to think robots fighting each other is cool. You only need windows where you're looking, the rest can be whatever. Yeah, but I gotta build a blast shield. <laughs> also, if I'm gonna stream it, I need windows everywhere there's a camera. And if I'm gonna do a battle bot thing, I'm gonna get a bunch of other streamers together and have them fight to the death, because that'd be hilarious. Not them themselves, but you know, they're battle bots. You forgot when it was huge in the early 2000s? No, I remember it like being big on television. I just didn't remember it having celebrities care about it. But I guess it was on like primetime television, wasn't it? It's kind of wild that it's not as big now, because now it's way easier to actually make battle bots. Ah, no. Like, you could have so much better contenders. Illegal battle bot tournament in the con parking lot. Con parking garage, we section off. <laughs> we section off something for the battle bot fight. They put them on Comedy Central. Wild. CBS attempted a revival and it did okay, but petered out because TV is dead. That's a shame. You know what that means, bro? Now's our time. TV is dead, the internet is thriving. It's time to 
It's time to bring on the live streamed battle bots. It's what the people want. <laughs> I just make a drone? Battle drones would be like... I mean, I feel like it's too easy to take out a drone. Like, drones are not durable. You can make a bot that can take hit after hit and still be fine. Drones, you just like smack them in the propeller and they're fucking dead. Ah! You bastard. <laughs> What are you thinking for a tournament name? I haven't gotten that far ahead. Look, I gotta do my multi-streamer sumo bot competition first. Which is a lot, uh... A lot cheaper and easier to do. Because you could just use the same sumo bots, reskin them, and then it's a, uh, it's a battle of skill more than of, like, tools. Mine can go over a hundred kilometers an hour. Where's two max when you need him? That guy has like 32 drones or something, he said. Which is an absurd amount of drone. That's like obscene quantities of drone. Have you seen Robo Master? That sounds like uh, a movie from the 80s. <laughs> I have not seen Robo Master. I don't watch... Is that like a television thing? I don't watch television either. I am part of the reason why BattleBots didn't do so well on its uh, revival. Because my ass is not going to watch something on TV. Oh, it's First Robotics meets... What, League of Legends? So, first robotics, if you're, like, more toxic. <laughs> I can tell you from having competed in robotics competitions, both in university and just against, like, normal people, it's toxic enough. <laughs> people, people get really arrogant about how good they think their shit is and really pissed when it's not as good as they think it is. It used to be live-streamed. Okay, that'd be pretty good content, though. Nerds design, build the robots, then the teams hire esports gamers to drive them. That's awesome. That's a, that's a great idea. <laughs> Nerds are the most arrogant people. I understand, like, the temptation to be an ass about, like, when you make something. Because there's a lot of bots I faced against that I definitely was thinking, dude, I'm going to, like, destroy this guy. He ain't got nothing on this. But I didn't tell him that. I'll shit talk people I know. I'm not going <laughs> to... I didn't want to do it to other people in the competition because it's just, like, bad blood. But other people definitely would. Holy shit. I was, at the time, I was just excited to, like, meet other people that were into robots. I didn't have any friends that were into that where I grew up. Your favorite games are coming to PC on the 13th. It's the entire KH collection. What is KH? Oh, it's Kingdom Hearts. Fuck that, dude. Uh -huh. Sora, I think I'm gonna go Super Saiyan. Shut the fuck up, Kingdom Hearts and Joys. Why do you even bring that up? There was nothing talking about that. Your ass detected something to make me go off and decided to bring it up. <laughs> Goofy fucking dies in Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> I can't believe I got one guide by that. It was because I was like, what is KH? I thought it was something about robots. No, it's not. It's He's being a bastard. <laughs> it was worth it for the Goofy. <laughs> 
Goofy's like one of the only impressions I can do. I pull that out whenever applicable, which by the way is not very much. Though, though, when I was, <laughs> when I was at Offkai last week, I went to karaoke with some friends and one of my friends was like, okay, shut the fuck up. So I, <laughs> one of my friends was like, I want to do bring me to life, but in the goofy voice. Cause there's that like, popular video of that and they did it and then i was on the other mic doing like the backup for it and it was the no one else was amused but i was incredibly amused the two of us were incredibly amused no one everyone else in the room was just like please shut the fuck up <laughs> but i was having the time of my life damn it <laughs> <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> I would have had the same reaction. I'm not hating. <laughs> I'm not hating. <laughs> it was just funny that someone else brought up to do it. Oh, wait. It's. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> Hang on a second. I've almost got this. I'm on a fume inhalation high. I'm about done the entire rail of connections. Solder's falling down into the cracks is all good. Oi! <laughs> Are you adding more capacitors? Yeah, bro, we're adding another bank of capacitors. A whole ass other bank. Here's what we got so far. We got six banks. Or sorry, we're adding two old banks. We're about to add these two. That's probably all I'll add, but I'm really curious how, how far we can go. And then, oh, I, I need to fill a stream. I can't think of a good stream idea. Oh, good news. I got enough capacitors in this box for like six other capacitor banks. So we can just have another one where we make even more. And eventually have the most powerful ball bearing deleter in the world. I mean, not even close to actually being true, but you know, it's the spirit of the thing. The fumes open the mind. Yeah, I'm opening my mind to these, all right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> did what you expected it to do this isn't using like stream elements it's using a a homemade voice synthesis machine it's synthesizing it live on the bot it's not doing it through like a computer or anything so people often try to do like the uh the stream elements like little tricks and it's like nah 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 son you gotta speak its language i have to do that so i can parse it and make it do expressions based on what it's saying how many caps do we need to vaporize a whole chicken? Well, the thing is, the chicken wouldn't take all the current it's supplying. Here's something, and I've said this before, and people who already know engineering are gonna be like, bro, you don't have to explain this again, but I'm gonna do it anyway. A lot of people misconstrue how current works, right? People think, because especially like with electrocution, they'll be like, Oh, volts uh, isn't what kills, it's the current that kills. Like, yeah, okay. No, bro, it's not the water that kills you drowning, it's the lack of oxygen. Like, I, we're arguing semantics here. But people think current is, like, something you can, like, supply directly to something. It's like, no, the circuit asks for the current that it needs. Like, the current is determined by the resistance. 
So if a chicken is 100 ohms, it doesn't matter if my source is, is 10 amps or like a million amps. It's going to take the same amount of current inside of it. The only time where we get the things like this, where the increase in current actually like blows the hell out of it, is with stuff like the rail gun, you put a BB, that's a short circuit, that's almost zero ohms. So that thing's just gonna blast ass. But like, when you have actual like, things with a, a, a measurable resistance, it's not gonna matter how much current you have. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be sunk through it. So basically a chicken is gonna be like a measurable amount of current. It's having all this current behind it isn't actually gonna do much to it. Higher voltage at this level of current, maybe. But that's like a whole different beast to get. We ain't even close to the rig necessary to pull that off. We would need some way to charge these all up and then swap them into series so that we can, <laughs> we can have like a thousand volts at a hundred amps, which would be like significantly more dangerous than a microwave transformer, which is saying something. That would be like incredibly dangerous. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look, railguns do that. Yeah, crazy how that works. I don't have the system to do that right now. Obviously. But that is the ideal way to set this up. Would be to switch it for higher voltage. All this evil shit you come up with, people do. Look, I'm just saying how it's done. I'm not suggesting you do this, either. Obviously. For legal reasons, and also, like, the fact that if you don't know what you're doing, this ain't gonna go well for you, Chief. <laughs> Someone on YouTube just straight up, like, made TNT. Now, I'm pretty sure... I can't do that on Twitch, which is a real shame that it's not a one-to-one, -one. but I'm half tempted to ask if I could, because like, not gonna blow anything up with it, just as like a demonstration thing, it'd be kind of rad. Nitroglycerin is really easy to make. It's just nitric acid and, was it nitric acid, sulfuric acid, and glycerin? Is that it? You make a you make like a, a nitration bath and then you put glycerin in it. And you have to keep it cold because if it gets hot it blows up. It's also like mad unstable. So dangerous, yes. But hard? Oh no. There's worse things you can make in far as far as unstable explosives go. The one you make out of uh acetone, I can't remember what it's called. That shit like goes off if you look at it funny. Making the banana dine? Oh, bother, I did that months ago. I did a collab with someone where we were uh, making stuff out of the Anarchist cookbook, and I was like, oh, baby, we gotta make the banana dine. <laughs> Which doesn't do anything, but, you know. That didn't stop me from drying out bananas and trying to smoke them. Love the Anarchist cookbook. It's a funny, it's a funny little thing. It's kind of, it's not actually as dangerous as people make it out to be. The, uh, the munitions guide is the far more dangerous, like. And that was made by the military. <laughs> yeah, that was the Pippa one. Peroxides are generally unstable. Yeah, yeah. The coffee creamer and Roundup explosives that combusts with impact after it dries. That sounds horrible. Acetone peroxide. Yes, that is it. Do not... Do not even attempt. I'm... I would never attempt making that. That shit is... is... <laughs> You're asking to lose a hand, even just, like, thinking of its concoction. You can make explosives on a YouTube stream. I still need the permission to make them. Certain things... Like, yeah, you can make it if you have a permit, but you can't make it without. TNT might be one of those. Even in, like, you know, like, 
a couple grams kind of consistencies. Basically, I want to be getting in trouble with the feds for showing some spicy secrets that they themselves published in Munitions Handbook years ago. I showed how to make black powder on stream ages ago, and even then, I'm like, ah, I don't think I could get away with that now. <laughs> when I had 20 viewers? All right, yeah, sure. Probably, you know, I'll probably get away with it. I don't know. I don't know if I would risk that one at this point. Even though, literally, if you Google black powder, the Wikipedia page comes up that says this is how you make it. Not gonna make comments on effective homemade compounds? Do not. There's a reason I have a no fed posting rule. I've even got a mod, a mod warnable thing for it. It's not like it's hard to make. It's not. It takes a few hoops to do legally. I would love to do a how to make meth stream. That's not- <laughs> You can't do that legally. You would have to fake it and omit steps, but it would be very funny. If I ever do a kick stream, that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> Good black powder is hard? Oh yeah, what I made on stream was like actual shit. It was straight garbage. <laughs> it functioned, though. It didn't expl- I didn't try to explode it, I just burnt it in open air. Just keep quoting Breaking Bad and call it performance art. That was literally my plan. Look, Breaking Bad- I was gonna do the thing they did in Breaking Bad, where if you skip the essential steps, you can show, like, 80% of it. You just miss some parts and you omit some information. It sounds like a great Nile Green or Blue stream. You think if I messaged Nile Green and said, Hey, do you, do you want to do a stream with me on, on Kick, where we make meth? Do you think he'd say yes, or do you think he'd be like, What the fuck is wrong with you? Look, I have a specific, like... I'm kind of half tempted to ask him because I legitimately love his content and he's not he's he's not so popular that he might say that he would like definitely say no he might agree to do it and I legitimately love his shit that would be that would be awesome just ask Nile Red no everyone at open sauce is gonna be trying to like I've already, I've already witnessed in the, in the open source creators discord, people trying to like network with the creators, but they don't know how to do it in a way that isn't like really annoying. They're already going to have to be filtering that in person. I don't want to be another one there. <laughs> oi, oi. Never rage Nile Red, Nighthawk and Light. Nighthawk and Light! Uh, you know, that video- I said I made the black powder on stream back when I had, like, 20 viewers. Nighthawk and Light found that VOD on my VOD channel. And, uh, and put it in his community playlist. Because it was me trying to make the Japanese sparklers that he spent a long time trying to, like, perfect the recipe for. And I used his method. And I credited it, of course. And I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to try this. And he's like, oh, that's really cool, you tried it on stream. I was like, dude! <laughs> it's the guy! <laughs> one of my one of my favorite uh, DIY YouTube guys, too. I love his stuff. Also really like, uh... This guy's more like up and coming. I think it's Hyperspace Pirate. I always get his name confused with Hypnospace Outlaw. But it's this guy that does, he does a lot of like refrigeration and cooling things. How's the railgun going? Kino, we... I blew up a BB earlier. On this thing. Look how, like, beat up the rails are. I'm about to do it again, too. We're gonna add two more. It exploded. It's not even shooting the projectiles. It's just, like, decimating them. Which, 
I don't know, that's kind of funny, so I'll keep doing it. I could probably do some work to try to get it launching. I'm kind of afraid of what's gonna happen if I do that. So instead, let's just <laughs> watch it evaporate bearings. Styro Pyro is great too, yeah. Yes, Cairo his cryo coolers are awesome, dude. His like process for making things is something I really like. The way he edits his videos is like that mix of like kind of meme, but also like funny or like also like informative. So it has like a funny plus serious thing. He 3D prints everything. He goes through so much trouble to make his stuff look like pro. I don't know, I really like his stuff. I always thought he was like a million something sub big tech YouTube guy. And like, no, he's got like a hundred thousand subs. He'll, he'll one day have a lot more because his stuff's really good. I hope he gets some more recognition for it. Integza? Not really my thing, but I really appreciate what he does. He's a, he's a real showman. Like, he's really good at like putting on the show for it. It's the same with like Michael Reeves. Like... The, it's a little more targeted for, like, beginners at it, I think. But I appreciate what they do. Even if it's not really my, my cup of tea. <sighs> the main educational I watch is Electro Boom. Technically, I could say the same about Electro Boom, but I do enjoy watching his stuff, even if it's, like, kind of more elementary uh, engineering stuff. I don't know, he just has, like, a, a fun style. Also, his stuff of, like, debunking, uh... Very obvious free energy scams is kind of fun. That little series he was doing on it. Like, yeah, that's a, that's a good twist. I don't really see other, other people in that category doing that stuff. I've watched Electro Boom for a long time, though. I remember... I remember the first Electro Boom video I watched was that one of the guitar that explodes because he just puts voltage across the strings. And it got featured in a fucking Ray William Johnson video. That's how old that is. My man has outlasted that. <laughs> outlasted him. <laughs> My goal is chaos, even when he would stream on Twitch as YouTube crafting. I've seen, I've looked up, like, what he did on Twitch, because I was curious if he did it, if he did, like, a stream kind of thing. But, no, it was just the, the, doing the YouTube stuff. Which is still, like, I mean, he does cool YouTube stuff. But most of the, the YouTubers, when they stream, they don't do content for stream. They just do it as, like, slop content in addition to their YouTube, which is, like, their main thing. Whereas, like, all right, I gotta, like, you know, program Python for three hours to get this project working. Or, like, oh, I gotta, like, AutoCAD this part out. I guess I'll just stream while doing it. I wish some of them would attempt it as, like, a stream thing, right? Cody's Lab, yellow okay. cake. Cody's Lab is one I legitimately love. He's doing shit that I could not come up with on my own. <laughs> I think that's my, maybe my, like... Uh, metric. Could I come up with this shit? Nah. <laughs> Cody's lab being like, what if I made a sodium rocket? Like, dude, I've wondered that too. And then he goes out and does a whole ass video on it. He even made the sodium. And the conclusion was uh, kind of an R. <laughs> it doesn't really work that well. But I'm glad he did it. Michael spent four hours troubleshooting code one stream. It was rough. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. These I wish these YouTube dudes, when they did streams, they did like, I'm going to do this project for stream. But normally it's like, I'm going to sit here in silence while I work on this thing. And I don't want to be alone, so I'll put, <laughs> I'll put on the stream. It makes sense. My YouTube con content is secondary to my stream content. So it's the the other way around for me. But it'd just be cool if they if they attempted to to do it as as content. I don't know. You can can you tell I'm passionate about this? Can you take a guess why? <laughs> Cody is to Uo what Uo is to us. Cody is really There are certain people 
that I pre- where, like, they do stuff where it's like, I could totally do all of that, but I still think it's entertaining. That's like your Michael Reeves and your Integza and- Integza? I always say his name wrong. Where it's like, yeah, you, you ain't doing anything I couldn't just do. But then there's people like Styro Pyro, Cody's Lab, and I'm like, I could not do what those dudes do. They come up with some crazy shit. I like them. I I appreciate all all the flavors of the the edutainment sphere. But those guys, I have a specific respect for, just because it's like you. They're like trying. They're breaking new ground on uh, on some of the stuff they're doing, and it's really cool that they that they do it and they make it entertaining at the same time. Wish the guy who made the Halo battle rifle could upload to the build documents. SMH my head. Was that an actual rifle? That's pretty cool. Also, I do always wonder what makes... I do wonder what makes YouTube creators like the, the tech dudes... What makes them, like, big or not? Because I know some people that have done some really cool YouTube projects and have, like, well-edited videos that aren't really that recognized. And I'm like, are they... Is it all algo? Twitch is a lot of, like, I guess, like, knowing people. There's some algo to it. But a lot of it's, like, advertising and stuff. Is it the same on YouTube? I'm not really sure. Basically, what I'm saying is I got some homies that I... <laughs> <laughs> that should be better known. It's probably Algo. Yeah. The guy I'm thinking of right now, I have to pull up his channel name because it's Maker something, but that's too generic for you to figure out on your own. He has like two videos that are really big that got like a million views. But then it, like nothing else is taken off to that degree. And the two things that got like a million views are like, I made a Minecraft sword in real life. As like, ah, oh, it's because it got Minecraft in it. The algo was like, hmm, yes, I will serve your video to eight-year-olds. You gotta, you gotta play to that a lot, I guess, for YouTube stuff. King of Random was great. R.I.P. For anyone who doesn't know, King of Random died doing a video. Uh, where he was hang gliding, I believe? It was very unfortunate. He did incredible stuff. I made my own forge because of King of Random and Nighthawk and White. Is it? Hmm. -hmm. He was paramotoring. Dude, the paramotoring is like... Have you seen that video of the guy paramotoring who fucking crashes? Like, while video recording for a YouTube video? There, that has to be like... That's, like, now officially something I will never do. <laughs> that crash video, which is pretty horrible already. And then the, uh... The fact King of Random died to it. Paragliding and his engine munched the glider line. Which is super common. Yeah, I think... I think this is uh, a hobby to stay away from. That being said, speaking of sketchy shit you do in the desert, I am tempted to build a pulse jet go-kart. If you've never seen a pulse jet engine, one of my mechanical engineer friends made one at one point. It's basically the loudest fucking engine in the world. And it's, what, what it basically does is it just blows up propane repeatedly. And the blowing up of the propane becomes self-sustained where it, like, blows up and then the heat, the backflash heat, ignites the next one. So it just goes like... And it blasts forward. It's like one of the least efficient engines, but it looks cool as hell. Oh, Colin Furs is also good. The video of the rocket-powered go-kart. I don't know what you're talking about, but I bet it's a pulse jet. Because they're also notoriously easy to make. Like, you basically just need to make a big pipe that has, like, a tank, and then you weld uh, a, uh, a smaller pipe that goes around in a loop and then comes out to your, your like, exit. 
Lockwood Pulse Jet? All right, you're 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 getting me stumped on what exact Pulse Jet it is. I don't know. Oh, hey, Dante, thank you for 14 months. Plasma Channel's awesome. Hang on, wait. Did Plasma Channel, is he the guy that just did a Mercury Rectifier video? That's a really good video. I, or wait, no, that that wasn't, I don't think that was Plasma Channel. But I, I watched Plasma Channel as well. A lot of these dudes are going to be at Open Sauce. It'll be cool to see them. It'll be fun to meet. <laughs> you started with a leaf blower yeah 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 okay that is it then if that's what they're talking about photonic induction that's who i okay that's the guy who did the the mercury rectifier yeah 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 dude i've wanted one of those things just because they look cool as hell. <laughs> but they're pretty hard to find now. They're not too common. They were pretty much only for industrial use. So, you know, once that dried up, they're not easy to get a hold of anymore. Oh, hey. Chance Senior. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! What the fuck? <laughs> Welcome in Raiders. I'm about to suit up my safety equipment and add uh, add these two more capacitor banks to my to my cannon here. Chance Senior, fucking Boomer. What the fuck are you? You know what has Senior in your name? Oh, wait, you're not the one who raided. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Need to raid with enthusiasm. How's it going? It's going well. We're building a rail gun. Sorry, a rail cannon. It's not a gun. It also... Ah, fuck you! It's also not a gun because it doesn't shoot anything. It just blows up the BBs that we put in it. You can still get little mercury vapor rectifiers. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I should get some of those. That'd be neat. I wanted one of the giant ones, though. I want one of the ones that, like, you see the mercury boil in the bottom of it to get it started. Just because it's so visual. Obviously, I would not need that level of power. It's just, like, a thing that I think would be cool. All right. I have to put on safety equipment. This shit is loud. It's bright. It blows pieces of molten metal everywhere. All right. Let's get our... New capacitor banks wired up. Fuck. I just realized this pipe has a char on the end of it from where we're putting it so close to the thing. All right. Let's get this guy wired up. Speaking of blowing up caps, we ain't blowing up caps, bro. <laughs> we better not be, at least. All right, let's... Yeah, there's a little residual in there. And before I go touching it, I would like to make sure that there's none. Uh, so... Let's get these guys arranged. Expected the lethal company output? Okay, that would be funny. 
That'd be a pretty good... Uh, <laughs> that'd probably work, too. Ah, fuck. Let me get my uh, pliers. We need to crimp these things down. Found some PSUs from the Capacitor Plague Era. What is the Capacitor Plague Era? Was there just an era where caps were straight trash? I didn't even know. This guy. We'll double check these also right before just to make sure. Mixing these up will cause an explosion. And I'd rather not deal with that. Collecting retro computers from 99 to 05 is an awful bet of whether the caps have exploded. Luckily, caps are like the easiest thing to replace in those. They're very visual. Oh, hey, Amy Fusion, thank you for the T2 gift. That's awesome. Their electrolytes destroy PCBs. Ah, okay, never mind. That sucks. Uh, let me get on the weld helmet, because this, if it explodes, is gonna, like, blind me otherwise. Donnie, man, this thing has the most undue amount of safety equipment to any project. I swear. Oi, oi. Okay. Turn it on. Let's start cranking it up. Mm. Slowly increasing. I can feel this thing rumbling when I turn it. Pumping out a lot of power to fill these capacitors. All right, we're at 60 volts. We're going to 160. Mm, 90 volts. Under 10. Under 40. 150, 160. Kill it. We're over. We're over spec right now. All right. All right. Let's see how well this works. Are you ready? I feel like this should be brought up a little bit, this camera. Maybe I'm getting lost in the sauce here. But like... slide the ball bearing down the track and it's going to hit the rails and we'll see what happens. Three, two, 
One. <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. Woo! And then let's just, uh... Oh, that thing is gone, dude. It's it's literally just shredding the BBs at this point. That <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> it disappeared. Dude, yeah, it just like Wow, that filled the basement with smoke though. What the it smells like metal. I, I know that's like a weird thing to say. But it smells like, like when you weld something. The pinball might survive. Do you want me to really throw the pinball down it just to see what happens? Sure. I will. You think I won't? Alright. Let's get it back up the power. We need 160 volts on this thing. Alright, the rails are looking like they're getting pretty toasted. This thing rumbling if you turn it up. You can probably hear it on the mic. I don't know. I know it's humming because I can feel it humming. 100 volts. One forty. Or one sixty. Cut down. Okay, you want the you want the big boy? Alright. Instead of our usual suspects, we'll use this uh we'll use this big guy here. We need a much bigger pipe for this. I don't know what this I don't know what this is going to do, if I'm being completely honest. Alright. Three, two, hang on. You should zoom out for this, I think. Didn't do anything. Is it even conductive? Yeah, it's conductive. It blew up before. All this protective gear, and I'm wearing fucking open toe shoes. Alright. I'll do one more try. And we'll see. this sucker straight up, dude. The pipe's so long. Alright. Three, two, one. And... <laughs> I 
don't know what to tell you, man. It ain't doing it. Did something like break? Are the rails not conductive anymore? Hang on, let's do a BB just to test. It might have come disconnected or something. Three, two, one. There's something wrong with the rails. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Let's try this bit. This is gonna be so loud. This is got if this is conductive, this will be super loud and bright. Jeez. Alright, wait, why are the BBs not conducting? That was loud, but I'm wearing hearing protection. Now it smells like metal again. Is there soot? Yes! <laughs> Dude, there's a trail of like... Hang on. It's easier to show it. There's like a massive... <laughs> okay, that's probably why it's not working so well. Jeez, that is from just what I just did. This is so much. Two volts on the lines right now at incredible currents. You kind of see how they bounce and explode? Yeah, yeah. You can, you can see the inefficiency in real time. I think ideally you would like spray salt water on these or something to help them conduct. I think that's something that gets done here. Flip them over. Dude, they're like mounted in place. That's a whole ordeal. Seems dangerous. It is. <laughs> it's quite dangerous. Probably the most dangerous thing that I've built in this lab. Please use the mega bank to blow up one of those little red caps. <laughs> oh, we don't even need the mega bank. You could just plug it into an outlet and it'd do the same thing. How do I even put it there, dude? I'm not gonna drop it on the rails if that's what you think. You're out of your fucking mind. Hang on. Hang on. I'm getting one here. This isn't going to be as impressive as you think. You realize that, like, the explosion of this tiny capacitor is nothing compared to the explosions you've been witnessing, right? Let's, uh, let's get it charged up again. Okay, 20 volts. We'll see about that. I mean, it's gonna be DC, which is gonna be pretty rad. 100 volts should be plenty. Oh no, we're taking it to 160, baby. You asked for it to explode, we're gonna make it explode. You think I'm gonna half-ass this? We're at 90 volts of 160. One forty, one fifty, one sixty. Cut off our siphon, ladies and gentlemen. Three, uh, two, no. one. Christy. It didn't do anything. Uh, no. Bro, Christy. ah, fuck you. Bro, it ain't do nothing, dude. I'm gonna do something that's probably a bad idea. I got this 
this pinball ball. I'm just going to drop it. I don't like being this close, though. Maybe, okay, hang on. Maybe I should... <laughs> Maybe there's a there's a safer way to do this. <laughs> Cause I really do not like the idea of that. Uh we gotta try the track again, right? Surely. Also that capacitor is like just chilling there. Hang on a second. Maybe I can nudge this to make the capacitor's leads touch and make it explode. Oh! Ah, there we go! Now get out of the track. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna try this one more time. It's gotta work. It's worked once. Surely it can work again. Granted, the first time it worked, the rails were cleaner, but you know. Three... Two, one. Fuck. Dude. What happens if I just throw a tin can on it? I'm about to do what's called a pro gamer move. <laughs> Where'd it go? Holy shit, that was awesome. Where'd it go? It flew across the room. It left a, an impact dent in the rail. Bucket. It went in the bucket? Wait, in the Lowe's bucket? Wait, it went in the Lowe's bucket? <laughs> hey! Wow, it's hot. That's awesome. Hey, it's still got, uh, it still has 70 volts on it. Let's do it again. Fuck. <laughs> eh, it's okay. We'll use a different can. How about this big can? What'll this do at lower voltage? Nothing, apparently, because I missed. <laughs> Alright, that one actually shorted it, so. <laughs> Hang on, wait! I can't believe how high that jumped when it did the initial hit. That's awesome. Just throwing shit at a railgun <laughs> version of Will It Win. Honestly, getting a bunch of metal shit and throwing it at this would be a fun stream. Just seeing what it does to things. Got such a clean look at things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The can jumping was really cool. <laughs> that has to be an electromagnetic thing, right? Is that a gas line or a water line? That is a water line in the background. And yes, I know <laughs> that it's spicy that it's there because people keep bringing it up. What do you put a glizzy on it? Okay, were you here like 20 minutes ago when I gave that explanation about how if something has a measurable resistance, it's not going to do anything different? Same with the chicken thing. It's not going to do what you think it's going to do because it's not going to draw that much current. Also, sorry I'm constantly yelling, but like <laughs> literally I'm, the earplugs make me not able to tell how loud it is. I know. Then alright, then you already know the answer. 
It's not gonna do what you think it is. You can't make this double as a hot dogger. That needs AC, really, to work. It'll maybe get warm. But this will work best with things that just short it out. Not things that, like, kind of do. <laughs> or, like, you know, provide a big resistance. Bro's gone deaf. Yeah, after this... If I wasn't wearing the hearing protection, I would have. Oi, oi. Uh, I think, I was gonna say, maybe we could try one more thing, but honestly, that was a pretty good finale. Okay, we got a few extra sparks out of there. Where's this extra power coming from, dude? Is it safe to touch? Now it is. This... It's safe now because it's zero volts. When it's charged? Oh, hell no. It's it's over wall voltage. It's, in fact, probably one of the most dangerous things that I've had in this. Uh, I think the neon sign transformer might be more. But this is definitely up there as far as, like, things you do not want to fuck with. <laughs> All right. Do you have steel wool? Oh, I don't. I, oh, if I thought about it. Hang on, let me take off my... So I stop yelling. Oh. <laughs> if I thought about it, I would have had steel wool, but... Uh, I did not get any steel wool for this. Wait, you're right, though. That would be cool. Here's what... Okay, hang on. You guys, I'm giving... I'm giving you a homework assignment. Think of things you would want to see thrown in between this. We will do a future event stream similar to that Will It Blend or the Microwave stream. Where... We throw things into the rails and see what happens. <laughs> Don't say hot dog, dude. Think of metal things. Think of things that are very conductive. Something like a chicken is not going to do anything, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it's not going to be as cool as you think. Bullets, do you want me to fucking die? Cast a metal hot dog. I would be casting it out of, like, lead? A Nokia. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That? So, yeah, you're not gonna get any arcing, is the thing. Because it's so low voltage. Now, if we... If we up the voltage to be, like, hundreds by running some of these in series, we could really get the arcing up. Then we have all sorts of other danger <laughs> propositions. <laughs> Light bulb ballast first. Chicken wire? That'd be fun. Slug of rebar cadmium. Okay, see, see, see. Now you're thinking. Old iPhone, that's like a metal back. That actually would, like, be great for this. Okay, I think we've... We've done all we can for today, though. I think we've done <laughs> a lot of fun. I'm gonna... Before I go to bed, I'm gonna record it. Launching a BB in slow motion. Or exploding a BB in slow motion. And I'll upload that to the Discord. In the meantime, who should we raid tonight? We got some uh, some homies on. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Not a lot. Not a lot of people compared. Oh, because it's Monday. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. We could send people to. Oh, Hina's doing her partner anniversary. Let's send to her. She's like just starting. But that'll be fine. Hina's Bobinus. Purpur is also a good choice. I, I think I raided her not that long ago though. I feel like I feel like I raided her recently. And Hina's is an event stream. Hina missed the tin can. Discord link in bio not working. Discord link in chat command does work. Which, wait, which one is in bio? 
The I fixed the one in the bio of my uh, Discord account. Am I missing another one? Oh my gosh, who sent me 60 messages? All right, I'm checking that later. Where's the Discord link? There you go, there you go. Join the Discord. Twitch links? Dude, those are fresh. Are they really, like, is there something fucked with them? I literally, like, just... Oh, I must have regened it or something, dude. Someone was bitching about a link not being valid, but they weren't, like, telling me accurately which one it was, so I regenerated it, and I bet I forgot to update the Twitch one. Yeah, that must be... Okay, I'll re-update that after. Well, anyway, the command should work, right? The command one works, because people are joining here. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you want more like this, I stream weeknights at 6 p.m. EST. And, uh, you know, be sure to follow and all that if you're, if you're into it. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be building a crackhead keyboard, which is one of my favorite categories, so that should be fun. In the meantime, I'll see you around. Bye!